spoilers here. Uh, warning, this video contains a few spoilers for Hollow Knight. Please bear that in mind before embarking on this journey. That's fine. Uh, or don't. I don't, really don't care. <laughs> I'm just text on a screen. All right, sick. <laughs> All right. Oh, um, sorry. Let me, let me change. Um, uh, Hollow uh, Lore Day. React stuff. Watch. Thank you. Uh, let's check it out. If you were to ask me, what is your favorite video game ever made? I would have to say Cory in the House for the Nintendo <laughs> DS. <laughs> Accurate. Hollow would be a close second. Accurate, Hollow dude. Knight was released on February 24th, 2017 by Team Cherry, an indie game studio based in the mythical land of Adelaide, South Australia. Over the past three years, Hollow Knight has become an indie darling the game has sold over 3.5 million copies. It was the opening game at ADGQ 2019. Oh, yeah. I saw that they did, um, that visuals was, um, um, doing a run. Uh, I saw some of it, if, if I recall, of Hollow Knight. I don't remember any of it, but. There's a Hollow Knight we'll book. Have to, we'll have to watch that, I think. Look, a line of plushies, t-shirts, nicotine patches, nuclear warheads oh. and even vinyl records for all, <laughs> all you <right>. goddamn hipsters <laughs> Team okay Siri i was like one goal what the fuck they wanted to create a world chat? that allowed players good? to get completely lost in exploration or you like, can how's see the sound? this desire in hollow knight's design the levels in hollow knight are massive Doc, with secrets happened? and rewards hidden Pro in every nook and cranny be that moment. powerful charms special abilities or uh it's good okay. the game's navigation system requires the player to work for their map forcing them to make a stronger mental image of the world in their head. Christopher Larkin's score and Ari Gibson's artwork lend to this as well, creating an atmosphere that the player won't want to leave. But there's one aspect of Hollow Knight that keeps people like me coming back. Yeah, what is the lore? The world building. <laughs> yeah, I really like world building. Like, it's honestly like some when of my Super favorite Metroid stuff. When Super launched in 1994, it stood out for its amazing well, I really liked Hollow Knight. of immersion. It's really good. The now, art in 1994, style is great too. I was busy not being alive, but I've watched enough YouTube video essays to know that this game was a big deal. In case you I didn't have know, no idea what Super this is Metroid about. is basically the granddaddy of all Metroidvanias. Average Impostor, thanks That's for the tier two for five Metroid months. Thank you. Vanias. Now, in Super Metroid, there are moments that give the player a sense of depth. Basically, the feeling that this world exists outside of Samus's interactions with it. In the room right before that diabetic crocodile thing, Samus can find the corpse of a random soldier. His inclusion here doesn't change the gameplay at all, but instead gives the player a sense of wonder about the world they are exploring. Yeah. Who was this guy? Who was Why that was guy? he here in the first place? Hmm. Did he like jazz? <laughs> now, finding dead bodies and other random- So you like jazz? Cool, right? Well, Hollow Knight basically does the same thing about a dozen times. Through its world building, Hollow Knight turns Hollow Nest into a living kingdom. You can sense the ancient history of the land when you look at dilapidated structures or giant barred doors. Nothing feels like it was put into the game randomly. There's a reason for it all. Except those reasons aren't the easiest to uncover. Hall Knight's narrative is buried under layers of NPC dialogue, item descriptions, lore tablets, and even additional content like the Quarrel comic and Fan Gamer's Wanderer's Journal. Oh, cool. These past three years have seen an insane amount of research by the Hollow Knight community Whoa. to make sense of Team Cherry's sprawling world. This is actually so cool. We've even made it to the point where people are looking at the in-game signs to try and decipher Hollow Nest logographic language. In this video, I hope to give you a long and detailed <laughs> like actual hieroglyphics. That's Hollow actually Knight, so funny. Exploring Hollow Nest's history and uncertain future. How do when you I'm not ask? busy making surprisingly accurate Super Smash Brothers roster speculation videos, is that a toilet? Pot Dude, is that a toilet? Surprisingly accurate Super Smash. That's a toilet. Cool. Smash right. Brothers roster speculation videos or insightful podcasts about beloved subjects like the Donkey Kong Country television series. Dude, so or good. Whatever this was supposed to be, I'm usually making videos about Hollow Knight. And while I am a seasoned Hollow Knight lore expert, I cannot confirm that every musing or theory presented in this video is completely correct. I highly recommend checking out the lore section of the Hollow Knight wiki if you want a more neutral explanation of Hollow Knight's lore. Yo, isn't it wiki? Weren't you just playing Breath of the Wild? Yes, you were so astute. Now we're not. Um, isn't it wiki? Like, wiki. 
Do you guys say Wikipedia? I feel like I'm right. <laughs> yeah, it's Wiki. <laughs> it's wicked! Wicked! All right, you got it. But if you're too lazy to read, then I suggest you sit back, order some Domino's pizza, or just grab a block of cheese from the fridge and enjoy the mostly complete lore of Hollow Knight. It's a simple fact of life that every human worships a god, be that technology, ideologies, or in rare cases, God. Rick and As Morty. it turns out, the bugs in Hownest pretty much hey, operate Rose, in the same way. From the mosskin born from the dream of a giant slug, to the emo kids of the ancient civilization who literally worship the darkness, there is no shortage of things to worship in the world of Hollow Knight. Our story begins with a creature very much worthy of worship. A creature born king. from the carcass of a worm. The yeah. carcass can still be found in the Kingdom's Edge, and it's our only good look at what worms actually looked like. At the time Hollow Knight occurs, it is suggested there are no worms left in the world. They were incredibly long creatures that featured little to no limbs. Another more mysterious property yeah, of worms worm. was that they had some kind of perscience or foresight. Basically, they could see the future to some Yo. capacity. It isn't I, uh, clear how effective this ability Xenoblade. was. Considering how the entire race went extinct, this foresight ability must have been pretty shit. Getting back to this particular worm carcass, it is explained that this worm traveled across the distant mountains and wastelands beyond Hallownest. Once it arrived in Hallownest, the worm died. Except not really. Inside the maw of the carcass sits a pale broken egg, out of which hatched a new form of worm, a being of meager shell. This form of the worm is usually referred to as the Pale King, and he's the character basically responsible for everything that happens in Hollow Knight. The Pale King is a higher being, a type of creature that exists above all others. His body was said to shine with a radiant vestige that harmed those who looked upon him. The ultimate goal of the Pale King seemed to be in line with that of other worms. Thanks for the year. A line from the cryptic Mr. Mushroom reads, Worms pull bugs into their thrall, till ages pass and kingdoms fall. In other words, it's just in their nature. Dogs wag their tails, cats bury their shit, and worms bring massive True. amounts of bugs into their service in uh, order to really? form long-standing kingdoms and civilizations. That seems uh, a little bit... And here in a far corner one of, those of the is different world, than the, other. the Pale King emerged <laughs> from the corpse of his former self and began to build his eternal kingdom, Hallownest. Uh. There's this one slight problem. There's, like, people already living there. <laughs> the area that would eventually become Hallownest was already filled. This is cool. This is so cool. I love this image. Um, we didn't find whatever the hive is. So this is this was missing from our playthrough. But everything else, it looks like we got. Oh, and the gray mansion we also missed. I think. No, no, no. This was this is with the seer. Um. Yeah, I think we got all of this. This is this is beautiful. Filled with mantises, bees, moths, spiders, mushrooms, and bush cosplayers. <laughs> each of these groups were already operating with their own cultures and societies, and each group had a different interaction with the Pale King. One of the more receptive groups to the arrival of the Pale King were the mushrooms of the fungal wastes. These creatures were able to communicate with one another through one shared mind. The mushrooms viewed this shared mind as a strength, right, so and the they dessert. were kind of smug dickheads about it. Basically. Ultimately, the mushrooms wearily accepted the Pale King's What's rule, that thing? viewing oh, his foresight yeah. as a shield to the we dangers of the future. Another group living in the fungal wastes is the Mantis tribe. The Mantises have a rich cultural history reaching back to long before the birth of Hallownest. The Mantises are a proud like tribe. Shop. No, no, you guys don't have a hive mind. You guys are too independent. You guys are too independent. You also, like... Don't know what Google is. The importance of proving one's physical strength. The mantises are fiercely territorial, but will show respect to those who display great power. These fight club enthusiasts were led by four powerful mantis lords, who I guess just kind of sat around waiting for outsiders to challenge them. The mantis tribe had no interest in the Pale King's kingdom, but the two communities did come to a truce. 
In exchange for their independence from Hallownest, the Mantis tribe kept the beasts of Deepnest from invading Hallownest. Not sure why they didn't just go out the other exits from Deepnest, but whatever. I'm not an <laughs> expert on Border Patrol. I don't work at ICE anymore. Let's move on to Deepnest. Anymore? What the now, hell? Many of the different tribes of Hallownest were kind enough to leave lore tablets behind, detailing pretty much everything we need to know about them. Unfortunately, the bugs of Deepnest didn't do that. We know that the spiders of Deepnest had a monarchy because why not? Those sure. are always good, right? What could also, go wrong? Within Deepnest are a separate group of spiders that immigrated to Deepnest at some point in the past. This group was known as the Weavers, and they established their own culture and history within Deepnest. They used looms of silk to weave stories, spells, and shields. One thing we know for sure about Deepnest is that they really didn't want anything to do with Hallownest. The struggles of Deep Nest Hallow Nest relations would become painfully clear as time goes on, but for right now, it seems like the two remained fairly isolated from one another. Another section of pre Hallow Nest includes Green Path. Now, as far as we can tell, the mushrooms, mantises, and spiders of Deep Nest didn't worship any higher beings. There is this giant mushroom corpse in the fungal core, but I don't think this is a higher being. I mean, who the hell would want to worship a fat ass mushroom? Fat ass slugs? Now that's dope. <laughs> the land we know as Green Path was created by the I like being that, known as Un. Un used her great mind to dream the vegetation of Green Path into the once barren caverns. Oh, cool. Un's followers, the Moss the people, King, hey. were also born out of Un's dream, making her their creator. Green Path at its height was actually much larger than we see in game. At one point, Green Path stretched into both modern day Queen's Garden and possibly Fog Canyon. Green Path's citizens showed themselves to be a fairly developed society. They built a temple at the Lake of Un in order to worship her, and they even had their own line of defense, with Moss Knights showing proficiency in combat, using nails and shells as weapons. These things were the hard to beat continued to first, remain like, first in try. effect even after the Pale King arrived, but it seems like they allowed the king to establish a road through their lands, leading travelers to the heart of Hallow. Hence Green Path. Okay, Hence the sense. name Green Path. <laughs> I should write this video. <laughs> yeah, Team Cherry really racked their brains when naming this area, didn't they? <laughs> Next, we have the bees. And while there is no lore on how these bees can turn into fucking drills, or how they can ignore all known laws of aviation, we do know how they reacted to the Pale King. These bugs decided to seal their hive off from the rest of the world, with only patrol yeah. bees being able to enter and exit the hive. So yeah, the bees are pretty much pointless in this story. And how finally, even, we have the moth. Yeah, how do you even get in game? How, the only, how do we? How do you even like get into the hive? Like, how did you even do it? It doesn't like. Where was it? Oh, there's a hidden wall. Oh. The only moth settlement is in the resting grounds, but the tribe might have also inhabited the Crystal Peak at one point. Now, as we all know, moths in real life are just complete assholes. As for the moths in Hollow Knight, well, it's a bit complicated. The moth race is described as being a rather pacifist group, with few ever choosing to take up a weapon. During the Pale King's reign, the moth race delved amongst dreams and the dead, displaying the importance of remembering those who have passed, as well as learning like how to cedar. shape dreams themselves. Uh -huh. Similar to the mothkin, the moth tribe was born from a higher being known as the Radiance. The Radiance is described as being a light in which the moth tribe basked. So she. Where is this? Is this DLC? Gotcha, different ending boss, okay. She was basically a giant lamp to them. Another important aspect about the Radiance is her ties to dreams and a substance known as Essence. Essence are the remains of wishes and dreams and are represented in game by these dream catcher particle effects. Essence can take the form of Whispering Roots, as well as Dream Ghosts, both of which are memories taking root in the world. The Radiance appears to be a creature made of Essence, but she isn't the only higher being to give off Essence. Un has green particles, the Pale King has grey particles, and this sexy character named Grim gives off fire. ...red particles. <laughs> Hello. Thanks, chat. <laughs> I, I need to have to. I have to ask. Thank you. <laughs> However, the radiance appears to be the main god when it comes to dreams, even if other gods also dabble in the dream realm. 
getting back to the Moth Tribe, it is their interaction with the Pale King that we need to discuss. Basically, the Moths turned their backs on the Radiance completely in order to worship the new light that had appeared, the Pale King's Light. So yeah, Moths are assholes in this game too. With her tribe forsaking they gave her, up their the God. Radiance became a forgotten memory, a remnant of the past, and a thing that's definitely not going to come up again later in this video. Well, that's the end and of the video. And so the Pale King's <laughs> new kingdom was established, Hallownest. But there is one aspect of Hallownest that we need to discuss. Unfortunately, to better understand this, we're going to have to read some poetry. In wilds beyond, they speak your name with reverence and regret. For none could tame our savage souls, yet you the challenge met. Under palest watch, you taught, we changed. Base instincts were redeemed. A world you gave to bug and beast as they had never dreamed. This is from a poem titled Elegy for Hallownest, written by Motomon the Teacher. The poem appears at the beginning of every playthrough, and hints at what the Pale King and his kingdom offered. Much of the land outside of Hallownest appears to be a wasteland. Wait, isn't Motomon one of the dreamers? Without the burden of mind. Hallownest somehow taught these bugs and tamed their savagery. Basically, yeah. the Pale King changed the instincts of his subjects and granted them higher thought. To get you a better picture of this, let's look at two different characters. That's that's basically me um, teaching you guys how to use Twitch emotes. <laughs> I'm slowly giving you guys higher thought. <laughs> Boon and Tuck. What a benevolent god These I am. These adorable panda bug things give us a clear display of Hallownest's effect. While both appear to be the same species of bug, Boon is dumb as a sack of rocks, struggling to string together which chat currently together words, while Tuck speaks fairly clearly. Twitch chat after I teach you guys how to use emotes. The main difference between these two characters is that while Boon lives outside of Hallownest, Tuck lives beneath the city's capital. Basically, it appears as though Hallownest is a literal holy ground that raises the intelligence of those who dwell within. The Pale King established a path, starting from the kingdom's entrance in King's Pass, winding through Greenpath and the Fungal Wastes, and finally ending at the massive capital at Hallownest's heart. We now know city the capital tears. city as the City of Tears, but that was likely not its original name. Oh. The rain that falls down onto the city from the Blue Lake above. Ah, I got that right. After the kingdom collapsed. Let's go. So I got. I called that in game. Originally named by some edgy literature student, the name City of Tears City wouldn't of Tears. have made much sense. Feels Rain Man. The king's motivation for all this appears to have been his desire to be worshipped. The citizens of Hallownest believe that the Pale King created the world and everything in it. Shrines to the king can be found scattered throughout the kingdom. And Whoa! King's How did I not notice this? Was this here the entire? I not noticed that's huge. Do I just I guess I was just like so enthralled with the bench that I didn't notice the backgrounds. Created and distributed to followers of the king. Despite the worship, the pale king often kept himself hidden from his subjects, possibly to hide his blemishes. I mean, if you look at the size of the real pale king to his statue in the ancient basin, the man is clearly overcompensating. The Pale King's White Palace was also built underneath the city, separating him from his subjects even ah. more so. At the same time, it was broken certain when we powers it, became shunned in Hallownest, though we don't know for sure if the Pale King had anything to do with this. Lifeblood is a blue liquidy substance that leaves those who drink it feeling refreshed. However, the use of lifeblood was seen as a taboo, and those who used it were demonized as heretics. Okay, so it's bug steroids. The use of soul for combat Good was also shunned. Soul is a sort of life force in Hollow Knight that animates the bodies of living creatures. But some characters are able to control the soul of others to conjure powerful spirits. But aside from a few exceptions, no citizens of Hallownest ever used this power. However, the Pale King didn't rule alone. There was another higher being in the mix. A being known as- The Pale Lady! One second. As the White Lady. Oh, the White Lady. The I like. White Lady is a weird, brute-like being Sorry. that can be found in the modern-day Queen's Gardens. She is encased in a strange cocoon, and we know very little about her. With as much exposition we get for the Pale King, there is next to nothing on the White Lady. But one thing we do Who know is, is she? that she likes to breed, like a lot. Oh, the White Lady. <laughs> so she's also canonically a milf. 
Nice. He would often retreat to the Queen's Gardens, an area of land once controlled by the Mosskin. How exactly she walked around and actually went places is a lore question too deep for even my expertise. The White Lady is also known as a Pale Being, along with the Pale King. Oh, okay. What exactly are Pale Beings? Well, we don't know for sure, but they seem to stand out even amongst higher beings as being even more powerful. I know that's a little confusing, so let's try using an example. I'd say that regular higher beings are like a TP-Link Archer C7 AC1750 yeah. wireless dual band gigabit router. Yeah. While pale beings are like the Asus RT-AX88U <laughs> AX6000 Oh, band yeah, AX yeah, exactly. Oh, dude, totally. King, dude, and, wait, wait, but, but then like, 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 and then, and then that makes the bugs like a classic like HP uh 520 3zw right that makes sense oh my god wait that's that's a good analogy industrial revolution he ordered the construction of the stagways which were used to transport passengers and goods the forgotten crossroads and the storerooms above the city of tears were used to store goods that traveled along these stagways the king also ordered the construction of the tramways because literally no one is safe from the threat of automation True. A tram was built between the Forgotten Crossroads and the Resting Grounds. A second tram was built from the Kingdom's Edge across the Ancient Basin the King's Palace. over to Deep Nest. Yeah. Oh, and then that's a it, third yeah. tram was started in Deep Nest and attempted to go further into Deep Nest. Right, we saw that. Not sure how useful that would have been to the bugs of Hallownest, but whatever. The Pale King's a smart guy. I'm not going to question him. <laughs> but anyway, the Pale King's super smart <laughs> plan to build a tram in Deep Shown Nest here dead. ended up getting a few of his tram workers killed. The bugs of Deep Nest rejected the Pale King's attempt to build a tram in their territory, further cementing the poor relations shared between the two groups. Aside from convenient fast travel, regular pathways were also used to cart goods around the kingdom. From this was born probably one of the most important groups in Hallownest, and perhaps even all of fiction. An elusive guild of bugs, simply known as the Mender Bugs, took to maintaining the various signs scattered throughout Hallownest. Okay. From the journal entry of one mender bug, we can catch a glimpse into their ancient and unknowable minds. Why'd people dear, happy? <laughs> dear diary, isn't life just the most beautiful thing? Fixing signs, mending posts, is it? break, I say. I'm a better mender for all that repairing. I sometimes doubt there's a single bug in all of Hollow Nest happier than me. Another sure. example oh, of the okay. Pale King's expanding infrastructure <laughs> is the Crystal Peak. This area is filled with crystal. Wait, that's real? Like, that's not like a bit? Like, that's actually like lore? <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> grow rapidly I love this walls, game. Ceilings, and even the shells of certain bugs. These crystals were considered valuable to the bugs of Hallownest, resulting in large scale mining efforts. We don't actually see the crystals used anywhere else in Hallownest, but they are said to contain a sort of energy. The crystals are also said to sing if you listen very carefully. We're no to love. Oh! In terms of military, Hallowness' first line of defense appeared to be a group simply known as <laughs> the Five Great Knights. fucking kidding me? The members of this esteemed coalition were Ogrim, Hegemol, Zamir, Dryya, and oh, she dead. Oh. For being so important, most of the information about these knights has been lost to time. Ogrim is the knight we know the most about. The Dung Defender. Since he is one of the few knights still alive during the events of the game. Looks like he went Ogrim a little crazy. expressed a great amount of loyalty towards the king, and he maybe had something going on with Isma, but we really don't know. Hagemo was known for his sense of humor and his soft-spoken voice, but at the same time, he was also dummy thick. Mysterious Samir arrived in Hallowness. Relatable! Land, bringing with her a collection of delicate flowers. At some point, she also got into a relationship with a mantis. But not just any mantis. A daughter of one of the mantis lords. Oh, shit. So, yeah, it seems oh, like we these saw that great grave. knights were slaying in more ways than one. All we really know about Dryya is that she was fierce, caring, and wise. As for Isma, she was described as being kind. She also appears to be some sort of weird plant life form. Yeah, what happened? But there's no information on where she's from or what her powers were. Yeah, it's so weird. The five great knights play an important role in the champion's call, the knotted grove, and the battle of the black worm. 
We have no idea what these events were or how they affected Halonest, but they sound cool nonetheless. During Halonest's reign, there was another strange area that seemed to exist separate from the Pale King's rule. Carved out of the corpse of an ancient bug, an area called the Colosseum of Fools was ah, constructed. Dude, we still didn't do the, uh, the last Colosseum. It was so hard. Halonest. It was so difficult. The sole purpose for fighting in the Colosseum appeared to be simply for glory, with a mysterious figure known as the Lord Fool overseeing the combat. The Lord Fool. We don't know when the Colosseum was constructed or if the Pale King was involved, but one of his servants, the Pale Lurker, became a champion in the Colosseum. Wait, if that's the Pale Perhaps Lurker, the is he also a Pale Being? Approval. And finally, there was the royal waterways, where the fecal excrement of the kingdom was washed out into the fungal wastes. Classic. <laughs> this area saw the rise of a species of parasite-like creatures called the flukes. I don't think so. Flukes. Okay. The flukes spawn from the fluke marm. Classic. A giant monster with cavities in which tinier flukes live. There really isn't too much lore involved with the flukes, but I do need to point out that the fluke marm is canonically a milf. Like, that's not even debatable. The sky is blue. <laughs> 2 plus 2 equals 4, and we all want to oh. fuck this thing. Oh. And so this was the kingdom of Halonest at its height. Careless Halonest Whisper. Halonest was a vast kingdom connected by a network of stagways and tram stations. The bugs of Halonest mourned their dead on the resting yeah, grounds. That's gotcha right there, yeah. Engaged in commerce using Geo, the de facto currency of the region, and a thriving capital located in the middle of the kingdom. The Pale King had succeeded in crafting a full-blown society but we all know there are pitfalls to living in a society. As a suspiciously we knowledgeable live in hunter a society. points in his journal, what is the that? Pale King had created a population of weak and pathetic creatures. The bugs of Halonest did not hunt for their own food and had become complacent with their comfort. This is even more obvious with the east wing of the capital. These greedy members of Halonest's high society became complete cowards obsessed with riches and plum from yeah, excess yep, wealth. Yep, 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 yep. The bugs living in Halonest Prime like you guys. looked quite different than the instinctive simpletons <laughs> they once were. Like. Their savagery had been replaced with intelligence, and through that intellect, they gave the Pale King the devotion and service he desired. And while there were a few snags along the way, they were shining times for the King and his subjects. Resting at the threshold of Halonest is a strange lore tablet proclaiming Halonest to be the last and only civilization. It calls Halonest an eternal kingdom. This appears to have been the Pale King's goal, for Halonest to stand against a wasted world as a final beacon for civilization. And that was the Pale King's ultimate folly, to think that he could succeed where so many others had failed before. Long before the Pale Dude, this Kings is so cool. were the Barry Bensons of the world, the, Barry the land of Halonest this was is controlled so cool. by an ancient caste. Hints of Halonest history are littered throughout the land, with the most notable examples being the soul totems and arcane eggs. One sect of these ancient bugs didn't worship a god like the Pale King, or any lord, but instead a dark and mysterious substance known as the Void. That's what that this is. This ancient okay. cast once also tried to lay claim to the entire land of Halonest, but they too failed. In his quest to conquer all of Halonest, the, the Pale Darian? King had made an enemy. An enemy long forgotten, an enemy that was about to be remembered. The Radiance! I mentioned earlier that the Moth Tribe entirely forgot about the Radiance in order to worship the Pale King. Well, it's back to be remembered! True. Memories of her still lingered, and hushed whispers of faith kept the Radiance alive. At the summit of the Crystal Peak, a location known as Halonest Crown, a strange collection of glyphs can be found. Joining these glyphs is a statue of the Radiance, presiding over the kingdom below. This old summit is the sole standing shrine left to the Radiance. This was built in order to keep the memory of the Radiance alive. The Radiance's light began to appear in the dreams of Halonest citizens. This light manifested itself in an infection that ravaged through the kingdom's tunnels. Those infected would fall into a deep sleep and awaken with broken minds. Some of the lesser bugs tried to resist the Radiance's light which only resulted in them being consumed by it even more so. <laughs> Dude, what, a, Many what an asshole of a god. <laughs> wills ...and began attacking bugs that weren't infected. Jeez. The infection what? also what? twisted what? the bodies of its hosts, <laughs> causing them to bloat and occasionally develop orange cysts on their bodies. Yeah, hey guys. <laughs> Once again, do I need to say it? <laughs> it's... It's... it's bodies. For many victims, they were reverted back to their basic instincts. 
carrying out the duties they once fulfilled in life, but now as mindless slaves. Those caught up in the infection were linked into the Radiance's hive mind, allowing her for, to control their bodies if needed. For, for those who didn't get it, that was that was uh, that was chat. I was being like, I was I was saying that that was chat. You know, bloated and with all right. Did as the infection spread across Talonest, many groups looked to solutions to fight off the Radiance's light. The gates to the city of Tears were closed in an attempt to keep the infection from reaching the city. The stagways were also shut down at some point. Thanks for explaining the joke, Dad. The stag yeah, you know what? You're welcome. I, I <laughs> Whenever I tell a joke, it's always like a lack of reaction. So, like, <laughs> I don't know whether or not, like, chat didn't get the joke or I'm just simply not funny. <laughs> so I'm always, like, left in, like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> so then I, I felt like I needed to explain it just in case. <laughs> ...eventually died out, but some took more proactive efforts against the infection. The scholars of the Soul Sanctum decided to harness the power of Soul in an attempt to fight the infection. This resulted in the deaths of Plus two, hundreds minus of two. bugs. I don't think chat would understand what that means. And I get it. But... the bodies of the scholars, their goal was to achieve some kind of pure focus, which would somehow protect them from plagues of the mind. The scholars' leader, the Soul Master, was driven mad by the sheer power of Soul, and his entire sect failed to avoid infection. But hey. At least they took as many innocent people down with them Jesus as they could. Jesus Christ. The Mantis I even tribe, showing the background. a stronger will than the common bug, were able to stave off the infection. However, one of the four Mantis Lords turned against his ah, sisters. Ah, that makes sense. He and his followers took in the infection willingly, as it gave them more strength and courage. That makes a lot of sense. At some point during but it was an this, easier the boss traitor than the Lord and his followers Mantis were exiled from the Mantis village, eventually taking up residence in the Queen's Gardens. The Trey Lord's daughter ended up dying at some point. This is the same Mantis that was in a relationship with Zemir, one of the five great knights. But the Mantises rejected their union because of Zemir's outsideness. As a gamer, Outsideness? this type of prejudice is all too familiar. And honestly, it makes me sick. <laughs> with the Any five gamers? Great knights completely useless to fight against the infection, the Pale King devised his own scheme. A scheme involving a strange substance known as Void. As I mentioned earlier, the Pale King's White Palace was built in an area called the Ancient Basin, but his castle wasn't the only noteworthy thing down there. At the bottom of the Ancient Basin was the entrance to a pit known as the Abyss. Within the Abyss was a lake composed of void. Yeah, we the saw Pale that. King realized that this void could be given form, as evidenced by an imprint of such deep within the Abyss, possibly left there by the ancient civilization that predated Halonest. The Pale King devised a workshop in his palace, where he placed Void in armor shells imbued with soul, creating servants known as King's Molds and Wing Molds. These Void creatures were somehow imprinted with the desire of the Pale King, oh, that's the collector. so that they would serve him. That's where the Collector came from, right here? Uh, where is this in the game? Like, we didn't, we didn't get here. Like, we never got here. The White Palace. It's not necessary, yeah. I mean, we, we ended the game without getting here, but... The secret area in the Dream Realm. You need 2,400 essence to get in there. Oh, that's probably why we didn't do it. Oh, you need 1,800 essence. It isn't clear when the Pale King started making these creatures. There is evidence to imply that even common bugs were aware of King's Molds. But the point is, the Pale King turned to the Void in order to create another creature, one that he believed could contain the Radiance and her infection. He tried to create a pure vessel. The Radiance's infection needs its host to have a will and a mind in order to enslave it. A pure vessel would be a creature made of Void designed to lack those features. The Pale King believed that by harnessing the Void inside a pure vessel, he would be able to stop the infection and keep Halonest lasting eternal. But his method for creating this so-called pure vessel was incredibly cruel. This is where the White Lady and her King Kong-sized oh, libido come into play. That makes These sense. These two higher beings engaged in a union of some kind, resulting in the creation of several eggs that were dropped down into the abyss. For those who don't know, uh, they had sex. There, the void seeped into these eggs, corrupting the offspring of the Pale King and the White Lady. This act resulted in the creation of the vessels. 
The vessels are not technically considered to be alive. They are shells created from the Pale King and White Lady that have been filled with a void. Within each vessel is a shade, a completely void being hidden behind the face of the vessel. Vessels are also non-gendered, I guess because they're dead or something? I'm not sure if that's how that works, but whatever. I'm not an expert on these kinds of things. I don't work at ICE anymore. What the fuck is Thousands that? of vessels were created <laughs> during this process. What is that joke? But only one was chosen as the pure vessel. <laughs> this particular vessel, chosen by the Pale King, was deemed the Hollow Knight. All right, that makes was sense. taken away to the White Palace. But I want to take a bit of a closer look at this part of the story. There are a number of questions and theories surrounding this moment that I really want to dig into. The big question surrounding this moment is why was the Hollow Knight chosen over any other vessel? One common theory is that the Pale King took these vessels back to the White Palace. What is this place? I want to I wanna go here. Where, where is this? In, in the game? <laughs> There's buzz saws? We skipped over buzz saws? It's in White Palace. Okay. We gotta go back, chat. <laughs> we gotta go back. <laughs> ...and evaluated them using his giant collection of buzz saws. This theory is probably the least likely explanation. It kinda exists just to explain the buzz saws, this Which reminds me of Super Meat Boy, yeah. Met, but it doesn't really mesh with the vessels very well. How does being good at Super Meat Boy prove that you are a worthy vessel? Did I write this? Did I fucking write this video? <laughs> like, <laughs> Mossbag, are you me? <laughs> we'll have to have a link to the Prime. And while thinking about logistics in a game about magic bugs is never a good idea, how exactly did the Pale King transfer these thousands of vessels to his palace without characters like the Dung Defender finding out? So this means that the Pale King probably made his decision without taking any of the vessels out of the Abyss. So how did the Pale King make his evaluation? I think the best explanation comes from a theory I originally heard from a user named Golden Flower Fan. 19 Basically, upvotes, the really? vessels were hatched down at the bottom of the sense. Abyss, and the first one to make it to the top was chosen by the Pale King. In a memory of this event, we see I mean, vessels oh, okay. falling from above, back down into the pit of the abyss. Perhaps these vessels weren't being cast down into the abyss, but fell while trying to escape out of it. The lore tablet outside the abyss appears to support this theory. It reads, Ascended. Our vessel has yeah, ascended. Sense. Beyond lies only the refuse and regret of its creation. We shall enter that place no longer. This tablet was likely written right after the Hollow Knight was chosen, Oh, that's where that's we got the, the yeah, and the king's the brand. That's off. where it was, the abyss. The tablet proclaims that the pure vessel has ascended, or in other words, climbed out of the abyss. And while cut content should never be considered canon, I would just like to point out that an earlier version of this tablet, found in the game's code, was even more explicit about this. It read, from below, our pure vessel has ascended. But how does making it to the top of the abyss first prove that the Hollow Knight is somehow a perfectly hollow vessel? Well, I think this whole concept might just be a misconception. What if the Hollow Knight wasn't any different from the other vessels? All the vessels were made in the exact same way after all. He was just the first to the go up? The idea that the Hollow Knight was somehow more hollow than the other vessels comes from the fact that there were so many vessels created in the first place. If they only needed one, then why create so goddamn many? I mean, this is like Octomom on steroids. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, these are bugs we're talking about, so it would make sense that multiple offspring would come from one egg. Mm. And it might have been a precaution to produce multiple vessels in hopes that at least one would be able to successfully but escape so the many? Now, Back's another up, explanation the prime. could be that the Pale King just yeeted other vessels that made it to the top first after determining that they weren't hollow, which would better explain why so many were created. Ultimately, the exact details aren't super important, but I do find it interesting how many different interpretations can be pulled from this part of the lore. After the Hollow Knight was chosen, the Pale King sealed the doorway to the Abyss, leaving the discarded this vessels is crazy, to away in darkness. These We're 33 minutes into this video, <laughs> and what's nuts about it is... Like... This is before we even start the game. <laughs> These actions were not taken lightly by the Pale Holy King shit. or the White Lady. Both participants expressed shame in what they did, but saw no other option to save the kingdom. But the vessels weren't the only poor saps sealed away in the abyss. 
There's also a lighthouse that was built on top of a naturally formed spire. That's it's what it was. Shining down on an ocean. Oh, of so we can below. we can get past it. Inside okay, that makes one sense. Of the Pale King's royal retainers, who was left in charge of keeping the lighthouse turned on. It's a good Since video. This brave soul was willingly sealed in a dark and dangerous tomb for the rest of his life, just so he could not pull a lever. Well, at least he was living with purpose. With the abyss sealed and the Hollow Knight chosen, the Pale King's plan was beginning to come together. The Hollow yeah, Knight I'll was raised and trained to prime form causing it to grow several times its original size. We don't know exactly why this happened, but I guess the Hall Knight is just a grower and not a shower. We know that the Hall Knight was trained to use a nail. I'm dead! Even I'm so fucking One dead! One explanation this is that video, the Hall Knight man. needed to protect itself in case an intruder tried to kill it. You know, like the player. Or perhaps this was important in the process of containing the Radiance. <laughs> Unfortunately, the details of that are never fully explained. The Hollow Knight might have somehow focused the Radiance inside itself, but Team Cherry gives us no explanation of how that might have worked. But that still wasn't enough for the Pale King. Additional seals were needed in order okay, to protect so I got, the Hollow I got this physical right. body while the Radiance was so trapped So my guess here was right. It. To achieve this, the Pale King sought the help of three particular yeah. bugs yeah, okay, who would later right. be known as the Dreamers. Lurie and the Watcher, Modem on the Teacher, and Hera the Beast. Lurian is definitely the most mysterious of the three dreamers. He lived in the Watcher Spire in the City of Tears. From there, Lurian watched over the city with his telescope. Lurian was a pretty big fan of the king, so it probably took little convincing for him to lie down for him. Lurian might also be tied to another strange incident that occurred in the City of Tears. Hidden on some of Lurian's lore tablets are images of jars. The same jars that can be found stockpiled like in the, the Tower collector. of Love. This building sits on yeah. the outskirts of the city and is the setting of one of the most bizarre bosses in the game. Yeah, it's the Collector. The Collector. Yeah. The Collector is a void construct that appears to have been made from the same mold used to create the King's molds. Oh. But the Collector is unique because, well, duh. Good grief, he's naked! The Collector stands it's also, in the Tower He's literally of Love father. No like, that, like, tell me he's not father. From Codename Kids Next Door. Like, actually, let I me mean, just look Look at him, right? Like, that is... F Good grief, you know? Naked. The Collector stayed in the Tower of Love with a noble bug who likely owned the establishment. In the tower, a number of bugs can be found captured in jars, implying that these two were tasked with collecting these creatures. However, the Collector somehow became obsessed with grubs, creating a map to keep track of grubs it captured in jars as well as keeping a strange shrine displaying a grub in the style of the Vitruvian Man. Eventually, <laughs> the bug staying with the Collector decided to lock it inside the Tower of Love and fled to the Queen's Gardens, where it died, likely due to overexposure to the Void. Despite being locked up in the Tower, the Collector is still spotted by the Hunter at some point, which either means this only happened recently, the or hunter? the Hunter has been farting around in Hallownest for a long-ass time. We have no idea what these creatures were trying to do. It's implied that the Collector was trying to preserve the creatures of Hallownest, perhaps trying to protect them from the spread of the infection, but we don't know where the Collector's obsession with grubs originated. And while Larian does seem connected to all of this, we don't know how involved he was with this operation, or what its end goal exactly was. Modem on the Teacher lived in the Teacher's Archives a library built atop a lake of acid in the Fog Canyon. Such a weird place the lower to put half a library. The consists of tentacles. You want to get <laughs> her a popular... You want to get to our... our uh, sorry for the pausing. I just... I Well, you know what? We'll just continue. ...subject for the thriving <laughs> Hollow Knight R34 I'll continue. community. The archives and the Fog Canyon as a whole... Wait, what was, what was that? Arthur the body. Wait, library wait. built atop a lake of acid in the Fog Canyon. The lower half of her body consists of tentacles making Don't her a popular it. subject for the thriving Hollow Knight R34 community. Mm. The archives and the Fog Canyon as a whole are also filled with these strange Metroid knockoffs. <laughs> these creatures are likely related to Monomon in some way. They could be her live offspring, her test tube babies, or possibly even her shit. Monomon uses futuristic cathoid ray tube things to store information about Hallownest. Several terminals in the teacher's archive go into detail about the Pale King's plan to defeat the Radiance. How do you read that? Indicating that Modemon had intimate knowledge How do you of what read she was that? taking part in. 
Finally, the Pale King sought the help of Hera the Beast, the Queen of Deep Nest. Now as I mentioned earlier, relations between Hellenus and Deep Nest were kinda... not great. <laughs> Unlike the other two dreamers, Hera needed to be convinced in order to help the Pale King. Hera would eventually agree to become a dreamer, in exchange for a child. Oh! The Pale King agreed, and the two engaged in a dalliance, which is a fancy way of saying they totally boned. <laughs> The white lady was okay with this. Hey, hey, uh, women, do you want to have a dalliance with me? <laughs> what is arrangement. This? In fact, she might have been watching from the closet. The motive behind Hera's request is never elaborated on, but it appears as though the king of Deep Nest was dead at this point. Hera was a common bug, so perhaps she desired the pale king's pale seed so that her child could be of high birth. <laughs> The bargain between Hera and the Pale King resulted in the birth of Hornet. <laughs> she became known as the gendered child. Wait, sorry, I, got, I, got, I gotta go back, I gotta go back. I don't wanna miss anything. Sorry, the Pale Seed just like really got me there. ...so that her child could be of high birth. The bargain between Hera and the Pale King resulted in the birth of Hornet. Oh, okay. She became known as the gendered child because unlike the Pale King's other children, Hornet was not hollowed out by the <laughs> Abyss. Hera and Hornet spent little time together, that makes sense. as Hera had to make good on her end of the bargain. And so the three dreamers were put to rest. Through their actions, a seal was placed over the black egg, prohibiting entrance into the chamber. These dreamers also had their own protection. At the base of Lurian's spire, the, the Watcher Knights guarded access to their master's body. Motomon's body was protected by a giant jellyfish named Umu. On top of this, Motomon entrusted her servant Quirrell with a mask which would be required to break an additional seal oh. she had placed over herself. So she basically is double wrapping herself. As for Hera, we're not really sure what protected her, since it is never actually seen in game. We don't know where this creature is hiding, <laughs> but whoever it is, they really suck at their job. Now there appears to be one more element to the Pale King's plan the weavers, right? involving the Weavers. Yeah. Hidden away in the weaver's den is an incomplete seal of binding, woven from silk. This design prominently features the Hollow Knight's head, and can be found in the White like Palace, the prototype, as well as blocking the exit during the Hollow Knight fight. Silk spools created by the weavers can be found in the stag station in Deep Oh, I remember as being well debated by that bench. The White Palace. Oh my god. These spools can also be found in the Pale King's workshop. We know that the weavers were closely tied to Hera and Hornet, so their actions might have been a part of the deal between the Pale King and Hera. Once the Hollow Knight was ready, the Radiance was somehow channeled into the vessel, Whoa. which was then placed inside of a giant black egg located in the Forgotten Crossroads. This egg was built to sustain the Hollow Knight, and itself appears to be fashioned from void. The Hollow Knight was chained up, and the entrance to the black egg was locked behind a powerful seal created by the three dreamers. Initially, this convoluted Thank plan Thanks actually for the gift worked, Thank you. and the infection was successfully contained. Memorials to the Hollow Knight and the Dreamers were erected in the City of Tears and the resting grounds. But this is the part of the story where things get a little bit hazy. And the but end, and then and then they saved off the infection, and then it was all good. All right, guys, that was a fantastic game. That was a great video, you know. Get, glad to. Yes. All right, fine. <laughs> time these statues were constructed, citizens had taken to writing on parchment woven from spider silk, which was all destroyed when water started pouring down onto the city. We don't know how long the Hall Knight was able to completely contain the infection. Bugs from Dirtmouth used to go to the Temple of the Black Egg to pray, saying they felt at peace within the walls. But after a while, they stopped going, perhaps indicating that the infection was beginning to leak out again. The infectious air continued to seep through Halness for years, eventually even reaching the deepest parts of the kingdom. As it turns out, the Pale King's pure vessel wasn't quite so pure after all. The Hollow Knight had been tarnished by an idea instilled. While the game never explicitly tells us what that idea was, it does hint strongly at what it might be. Hidden away in the White Palace is a memory showing the Hollow Knight and the Pale King sharing a moment. The Hollow Knight might have developed a parental bond to the Pale King. And who could blame it? The Pale King is a pretty great dad after all. You know, if you ignore the infanticide and everything. Remember the- Chat. Chat, do we really have to do this again? There is a channel point reward to redeem an ad. 
right? <laughs> I'm not the one who redeemed the ad. <laughs> so you don't have to say, screw you, man. 30 second ad? Ah, oh, God, this is the worst thing. Fuck you. <laughs> Just, it's, it's, it's a channel point reward chat. <laughs> All right, someone redeemed it. There you go, right here, run an ad. <laughs> so, calm, calm, calm down. Calm down, it's 30 seconds of your life. All right, you don't have to, you don't have to go witch hunting over it. <laughs> Goddamn chill. Those smug mushroom dickheads. Well, it turns out their trust in the Pale King was a complete mistake. That shared mind isn't looking too good now, is it? In the fungal core, the corpse of a giant mushroom lies dormant. Its final thoughts were, Pale Worm, what good to see a demise unavoidable. This could imply that the Pale King always knew that his kingdom was doomed. All he right, could do worms have was delay the future sight. Yeah. This is likely the moment when- Hence the stasis, right? So there's like a ton of times in the game where they mention that there's like just a stasis in Hollow Knight. So it's going to happen. It's inevitable that Hollow Nest will die, right? And everything like this. But they stasis it um by using the hollow knight that makes sense halonest as it once was entirely collapsed the hollow knight had not completely stopped the infection and while it may have taken a while halonest was eventually brought low it's at this point that characters and areas begin to resemble as we know them in game when it became clear that the hollow knight was not able to contain the radiance the pale king resorted to his final plan he fucked off hiding himself, his white <laughs> palace, and his pale court in the dream world. At this point, all of the furniture in the palace was covered under white sheets. Mood! People in the real world cover their furniture while away on long trips. The palace was also completely covered with thorns and buzz saws, similar to how people in the real world cover their houses with thorns and buzz saws. <laughs> the mean, pale king would eventually pass. I mean, I do... <laughs> oh, buzz saws, but... <laughs> I do um I do have like a flamethrower and sword and some other you know so it's not exactly buzz saws but like I see what he's getting at you know <laughs> I understand pass away while sitting on his throne in the white palace there's no confirmation on what killed him but there are a few things to consider the throne room is incredibly dark compared to the rest of the palace and the particle effects and ambient track in this room are identical to that of the Abyss. All of the King's molds surrounding the Pale King are dead. The ancient basin itself also has become stained with the presence of Void, as it can be seen as high as the rundown elevator shaft leading back to the city. Remember that bug that was sealed away in the Abyss to make sure the lighthouse wasn't turned off? Well, yeah, he died. the lighthouse was turned off. <laughs> yeah, he I died. guess that whole living with purpose thing is a crock of shit after all. True. It seems as though what the sea void itself actually convinced this bug to betray his king and turn off the lighthouse. Now I know what you're thinking. Exactly how conscious is the void? Is the void able to think for itself? Can it form strategies? Does it host a podcast? Well, according to this Chozo statue ripoff, the void is powerful, but not unified. Okay. So while it can thrash around at things that come near it, or call out in unison to turn off a light, it's not a single conscious being. Getting back to the Pale King, one could argue that the Void might have played a role in his ultimate demise, and I've argued that viewpoint in the past, but we have to remember that there isn't enough evidence to know for sure. As an expert lawyer and a good friend of mine, Johnny Cochran once said, any evidence that the Dude, Void was involved this guy in the Pale King's miss. death is circumstantial. Dude, this guy my doesn't name is Johnny miss. Cochran. Just above the White Palace, the bugs in the City of Tears weren't faring much better. Oh my god. Even if we ignore the fact that the infection was still around, there were other issues that helped lead to the city's downfall. That guess, to thanks the for those eight months. Sealed, some bugs resorted to cannibalism in order to avoid starvation. And there's also that Jesus metric Christ. fuckton of corpses lining the walls of the Soul Sanctum. When all was said and done, the only citizen left standing is Eternal Emilita who just laughs her ass off about it like she's a fucking Dark Souls character. Yeah, the she was the creepiest one. The cocoon deep within the Queen's gardens. She decided to place bindings on herself in order to keep her from spreading her seed. She claims that this is because of the shame she feels in helping the Pale King <laughs> create the vessels. But honestly, it's Chastity probably belt. just her kink. The White Lady also diminished her power, 
possibly Whoa. as a way to keep herself hidden she from actually unwanted looks like. visitors. Outside so her pretty. cocoon, Drya stood guard, protecting her queen from the violent traitor mantises. Drya is eventually killed off by these bugs, which is actually pretty pathetic if you think about it. I mean, we're talking like the Netgear WPN. Oh my god! N150 wireless router pathetic. Yeah, dude, like, fuck that router, knights, dude. Dying Literally, Jesus. Let's move on to Hagemul. Hegemul held the city crest, a key used to open one of the gates to the City of Tears. At some point, Hegemul's armor shell was stolen by a maggot. Now, maggots were generally looked down upon and forced to do menial labor. They were incredibly weak and big. Hey, chat. Hey, guys. Look. It's. All right. Basically, deserved all of the discrimination. Hey, maybe if I make the joke three times in a row, it'll land. <laughs> God. But this one maggot decided to turn the tide, so he stole Hegemul's shell so that he could defend his downtrodden brothers. His actions weren't motivated by the infection, but instead was the result of how hierarchical caste systems will always lead to revolution from the working class, and that true freedom can only be achieved blah blah blah, capitalism is bad, subscribe to my Patreon. Ogram moved to the royal waterways and started living in shit, changing his name to Dung Defender. Now, I love wallowing in shit as much as the next guy, but you'd have to really Classic. love shit to put up with living with the flukes. The Dung Defender kept an unwavering sense of duty and loyalty to the king, and love for his fellow knights. So much so that he made shit statues of them. How nice. Classic. Ogram acted as the defender of the pipeways, as well as Isma's Grove. A section of the royal waterways became- You could say that Ogram and Isma were connected by pipe ways got him <laughs> filled with acid and in the middle of it all rests isma's corpse which has been overcome by plant life isma is likely the one responsible oh, were for this they, wait, 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 were they not we the have uh, no idea what happened to her Hornets were they not the ones that were time are fairly mysterious we know that she departed deep nest and didn't return until the events of the game at some point, she took to guarding Halness from intruding warriors, as well as the cast-off shell in the Kingdom's Edge. Despite the Kingdom's woes at large, fortunately this fate did not befall one of the fandom's favorite characters. The Menderbugs continued to fix the broken signs and wayposts of Halloness. From a diary entry, we can see that These one Menderbug, Menderbug in particular I'm, had found I'm himself on dying. the precipice of a long and loving relationship. Hello again, diary. Hello Not again. Long now until the next Minder Bash. For a stealthy types, we're a riotous bunch when we get together. Classic and Minder, Minder Bash. Kept flashing me that <laughs> smile. <laughs> it might be time to muster my courage and act on it. I love my home and my life, but sharing it with another? Hey, Stonepaw. What's going on, dude? What's going on, my duder? How it be, how it do? Um, if you're coming in from the raid, we're watching videos. If you're not coming in from the raid, well, you're cooler than Stonepaw's chat, so, you know, how it works. <laughs> what were you playing? What were you up? Uh, just chatting? Were you also doing some classic React content? Some, like, absolute lazy shit? Or were you doing something of, like, substance? Coming in from the raid, sorry. Well, Prezzo, you, you don't watch me anyways, so uh, if, you, if you said, like, hey, I'm here, I would believe that you would come from the raid. So, like, you don't have to, like... <laughs> Goddamn. Oh, you farmed the dream drama. Oh, classic. Here, let me let me farm some clips too. Um, dream cheated. Um, I called it out months ago, and I was um told that I was a shit stick for saying so and a whole bunch of stuff like that. And guess what? Told you so. Take that. There you go. I love watching my boy Point Crow. I'm even subbed. Holy wait, you are subbed. Who the fuck gave you a sub present? You didn't sub yourself. <laughs> Who the hell it was probably dude it was uh, honestly I think it was Oliver probably <laughs> on top yeah I clipped it oh god don't put me on LSF don't give me some free clout that would be awful ah oh, dream dang it dude maybe you shouldn't cheat in speedruns next time <laughs> there you go easy right it'll just farm it real fast you know hey it's not easy but it's honest work <laughs> there you go um anyways stone pot i hope your stream was good um we're watching hollow knight lore video because i played hollow knight and i wanted to know what happened in hollow knight so there, that's really it there's really nothing special about this stream it's it's lazy content <laughs> but you know what we we're farming primes out here too so if anyone's stone paws chat has a prime available you know uh 
give it to me. Don't give it to Sonpa. I'm better. Green Path also underwent. Because I mean, I mean, if we really want to go about it, right? What was was that classic saying? Bigger number, better person. I was just saying. <laughs> Some changes during this time. The I appreciate the right dude. I appreciate Un's it. Thank call, you so much for that. Which would bring them back into the dream they were originally born from. But for some reason, unstrength deteriorated. Stone palm made you. We don't you. know why That's this true. happened exactly. Very true. Was it due to the white lady claiming part of Give her back kingdom? back to the real ones. Was it somehow due to the infection? Some moths can believe that Un went into hiding, but it appears as though Un is, in fact, calling to her children. But many of the moths kin are unable to hear or call. Instead, many moths kin seem to have taken the Radiance's infection into their leaves. Chad, it which might looks explain like why Green Path became overgrown with vegetation, despite Un's deteriorating powers. Mossy <laughs> Vagabonds even openly chose to forsake Un and worship the Radiance. Another tribe to be screwed over by the Radiance is the Hive, which fell to the infection after the death of their leader, Hive Queen Vespa. But it appears as though this had little effect on their civilization. Dude, what the kind Radiance's of hive, hive is this? mind was already familiar to the bees, since the hive probably operate under something similar already. How many times is this? So in other Dude, words, the hive probably. If there's an opportunity the to insult in chat, I'll take it any day of the week. Let's turn our attention back <laughs> to funny. the moths. <laughs> After all, it's their god that keeps I, killing everyone. Chat, I'm like, I'm laughing at your demise. All right, like that's 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 what's funny to me. <laughs> Well, the moth tribe didn't fare too well, actually, as pretty much the entire tribe died out. The only known survivor is the seer. Despite the loss of her tribe, the seer continued to tend to the graves in the resting grounds, while also waiting the arrival of the wielder, a mysterious being that her tribe has dreamt of. Which for is a while. the player character? In That's the like kingdom's us. edge, okay. the land became covered in ash, molting off of the worm's decomposing corpse. The Colosseum of Fools continued to thrive. The Lord Fool passed away at some point. But nobody really seems to notice or even care. The fools inside the Colosseum were infected, but still seem to have maintained control over themselves. It seems possible that these bugs took in the infection willingly, similar to the Traitor Lord and his followers. This would have given them an edge in combat, similar to using steroids, dude, but this, without this the place whole was shrinking testicles fuck, thing. Wait, what? However, <laughs> even the Traitor Lord and his followers <laughs> went mad, Wait, so what makes these fools any more special? As right. for the Pale King's champion, the Pale Lurker, well, she just went the normal kind of insane. There appears to have been another- Can't just drop shrinking testicles real fast. Plan. When the Hollow Knight was originally chosen, the door to the abyss was sealed, trapping the discarded vessels within. But apparently, some vessels didn't get the memo. Vessel corpses can be found littered throughout the kingdom. There's one in the ancient basin, one in green path, and several trapped in Nosk's lair in deep nest. Another vessel that escaped from the abyss- Yeah, where was Nosk's lair? I don't think we fought that boss. Where was that? What was it? Uh, like, I, it's just not, not, it's in deep nest. Did I just skip over it when we played? Like, did I skip over it or it was like, yeah. Oh, it's a hidden boss. You saw them, but you didn't engage it. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, why would I, why would I try to like commit? Why would I go so far to take a battle, you know, against somebody? Pacifism, right? Maybe you want to talk to them first before fighting. You ever think about that? God. This is the player character, the knight. Jesus Christ. The exact details on how the vessels escaped the abyss is unclear. There are indications that they might have slipped into deep nest through some old passageway, given void influences in part of the area, and all the corpses found in Nost's That's lair. That's actually crazy. At some point, all entrances to Hall Nest were closed off, with the old well and dirt mouth being the only way to sneak back in. Despite this, several people have wormed their way into the kingdom, with few ever returning. Characters like Relic Seeker Lem seem content to just pillage artifacts from the ruined kingdom, but other bugs seem interested in something greater. In the Howling Cliffs rests the corpse of a member of the Grim Troop. The task of this bug appears to have been to- This is DLC, right? So I keep pausing and it's probably annoying like half of you, but you're going to deal with it, so. Um, this is DLC. So- did I miss this, or is this, like, only after I beat the boss? No, I know it's in base game, yeah, but, like... So I missed it. Okay. Seek out Halonest, so that the troop might be summoned to the kingdom in the future. The Grim Troop are basically a group of bugs that serve a higher being known as the Nightmare Heart. The troop keeps the heart alive by feeding on the nightmares of fallen kingdoms. 
This process also involves sacrificing the troop master to his own child because interesting diet. Uh, See, mine can mine. Hey, look at this cool ass boss battle! Oh shit! Another important group that yeah, my diet consists of ice cream sandwiches, pizza, and um, sunflower seeds. So I mean, same though, you know. The Hall Nest, ruined kingdoms, all that. Same thing. Are the God Seekers? After being abandoned by their old gods, the gods of thunder and the gods of rain, God seekers. these bugs left their home in the land of storms, seeking out a new god to worship. The god seekers look to gods to save them from their own silent mind. While traveling through the wastelands, the god seekers constructed devices called god tuners, which helped them seek out new gods. Through this device, they were able to detect the lingering power of the pale king and find their way to Halonest. When they arrived, however, the God Seeker was forced into hibernation. She was encased in a strange sarcophagus-like cocoon, which was itself chained up with a lock. It's not clear how this forced hibernation worked. Or like bod seeing as seekers, the cocoon go touch grass. To made by the God Seeker herself. <laughs> the fuck? As for who put the cocoon in chains, <laughs> I think the most likely candidate is the Dung Defender, considering how the God Seeker's cocoon is found in the junk pit in the waterways, an area the Dung Defender has tasked himself with protecting. This was the general picture of Halonest after the Hollow Knight was sealed inside the Temple of the Black Egg. The kingdom was stuck in a kind of stasis, with the Pale King civilization destroyed and the Radiance unable to break free from her chains. The Pale King was rebelling against nature, trying to keep his work standing indefinitely. The stasis over Halonest held for an age. How long is that exactly? Well, we have no idea. As I'm sure you've noticed, there really isn't a timeline for anything that happens in this game. We uh, also that's pretty have good. no idea like how that. long any of these bugs can actually live. Elderbug wasn't around to see the stagways open, but we know several other characters were, implying that Elderbug is probably one of the youngest characters in the whole game. Why is this stasis Elder over Hollow Nest that? wasn't going to last forever. Don't think so. At some Don't point, the radiance so erupted out of the Hollow Knight, cracking its shell and releasing a loud and powerful roar. The amount of infection leaking out of the Hollow Knight mm. became even greater. The many corpses that lined the roads and cities of the kingdom sprang to life with the amplified power of the infection. Was that John Tron? This Wait, did I miss it? Is probably one of the. Oh my god, I totally did miss that. <laughs> oh my god, I totally did. The youngest characters in the whole game. The amount of infection leaking out of the Hollow Knight became even greater. We're going to Small Ant Sia. All right, we'll never come back. Mods ban. The many Thank corpses you. that lined the roads and cities of the kingdom sprang to life with the amplified power of the infection. Thank you. This strengthened infection prompted the departure of the weavers. Uh, back to their that was probably a little bit too much. Uh, just time out for a day. <laughs> uh, that was probably a little bit too much. <laughs> Sorry. Initial, initial um, uh, pissed offness and then benevolence. <laughs> If you're gonna watch another streamer, especially like you know, you don't have to announce it, dude. Like, understand? I get it. <laughs> That's fine. Home. Now this old home might act like holy shit. Actually, be Farloom, the kingdom in which Hollow Knight Silk Song takes place. But the amount of knowledge we have about Silk Song right now is pathetic, so I'm not saying that's confirmed or anything. God, it looks this so good. This is also around the time that God, it looks so good. Back in Halonest, his memory of Motomon appears to have been clouded due to his time outside of Halonest. These events are depicted in the Quirrell prequel comic, which also shows an image of the Hollow Knight with a pre-cracked shell. Rice gum live? This right. could mean that- Uh, I'm gonna ban you just because you watch Rice Gum. <laughs> I- Literally, just- just- just be- I'm sorry, it's not you. you. Actually, it is you. It's all you. Like, you watch Rice Gum, <laughs> so... I mean, <laughs> I think it's- I think it's for the better. The Quirrell's arrival happens roughly the same time the Hollow Knight's shell cracks. At around the same time Quirrell arrives in Hollow Nest, we also see the arrival of the player character, who is commonly referred to as the Knight. The Knight was one of the lucky vessels that was able to make its way out of the Abyss. Somehow, the Knight ended up venturing and beyond this is where the game into starts. the wilds That's beyond. That's crazy! It's implied that the Knight was called to Hollow Nest by either the sealed Hollow Knight or the Radiance within. Regardless, once the Knight shows up and yeets itself off this cliff, the actual game of Hollow Knight finally begins. <laughs> we're 55 we're 55 minutes into the lore video and this is where the game starts <laughs> dude that's so dude there's no way i would have figured all of this out that's so now, funny there's a lot of details we could get into 
Holy Halloween shit. is full of NPCs and bosses, each with their own stories to tell. But to be honest, I don't think we need to go through all of them, since their stories are relatively straightforward. For example, let's look at the brooding Moloch. So why is the brooding Moloch brooding? Because all its friends are dead. And there you go. That's the lore for the brooding Moloch. Also, it's the only character in the game with a visible asshole. Now, did you oh, really need me to explain that to I you? I love that. Probably Let's go. Not. Let's go. So instead, I'm just going to talk about no, the interaction please do that more, please. to Hollow Knight's main story. The knight is eventually noticed by Hornet, who lures it deep into Green Path. There, Hornet attempts to kill the knight, claiming that she knows what it would try to do. At this point, Hornet views the knight as being too weak. After the fight, Hornet can be found in the City of Tears, next to the statue of the Hollow Knight. Hornet mentions that the knight has gained a resilience, due to the time it spent in the void beyond Hallownest. This could be referring to the fact that some of those who leave Hallownest lose their memories, meaning the knight would have no memories of its own tragic conception. Hornet tells the knight that if it seeks to continue the stasis that keeps Hallownest standing, it must seek the Graven Ash, which is referring to the Kingdom's Edge. At this moment, Hornet sees the knight as a possible replacement for the Hollow Knight. Basically, the knight could break the seals that keep the Hollow Knight locked away, This is the ending the we got. Knight, and contain the infection itself. So we did this. It's at this point that I should mention that Hollow Knight actually has five different endings, because of course it Jesus would. Christ. I'm going to be explaining each of these endings in this video, as they each give us a different glimpse into the mechanics of Hollow Knight's world. Now, to get the easiest ending to Hollow Knight, Hornet's instructions to go to the Kingdom's Edge can be ignored completely. If the knight stumbles upon the resting grounds, the three dreamers will appear and cast the knight into the dream realm. There, Seer will come to the knight's rescue and grant it the dream nail, that's, yeah, that's a special did. play that can tear the veil between the real world and the dream world. With the dream nail, the knight can venture to the resting places of the three dreamers, curb stomp their asses, and unlock the entrance Jesus. to the black egg. So that's what we did. Inside the egg, the knight finds the hollow knight chained up, silently watching over it. Once the chains are broken, the Hollow Knight screams with that familiar Radiance roar and pursues the Knight. As the fight progresses, really easy the Hollow fight. Knight starts trying to kill itself, Quirrell style. But then the Radiance starts using the Hollow Knight's body to perform her own attacks. Oh. Once defeated, the Hollow Knight begins to spew infection all over the place. The Knight can then focus the infection into itself. That makes sense. This results in the first ending of the game, called Hollow Knight. In this ending, the Knight usurps the Hollow Knight prolonging the stasis over Hallownest. New chains and bindings appear out of fuck if I know and contain the knight, and a new seal is placed over the entrance to the black egg. Now there is one giant question looming over this ending. Can the knight actually contain the infection indefinitely, or will the radiance still manage to break free one day? Before we answer this question, we know that. let's look at some of the other events that can transpire while playing the game. If the player chooses to go to Kingdom's Edge, Hornet will challenge the knight one last time as a final test of strength. After her defeat, All right, Hornet so this the this is what we did too. Cast okay. off shell, so we actually did like a combo King of was two things and then just like settle for the first. By interacting ending. with this egg, the knight shell is marked with the king's brand, technically making the knight the new ruler of Hallownest. With the king's brand, the knight can now open the entrance to the abyss and discover the place of its birth. When leaving the abyss, the knight can encounter Hornet again, where for the first time Hornet suggests that there are actually two outcomes the knight can enact. She tells the knight that it can either prolong Hallownest stasis or face the heart of the kingdom's infection. Within the knight, Hornet sees oh, a chance for change. Instead of okay. just replacing the Hollow Knight, so this, this Hornet is, believes that yeah. it may be possible to get rid of the infection completely by using the void inside of the knight. After visiting the abyss and obtaining the Shade Cloak, the knight is capable of reaching the White Lady, hidden away in the Which Queen's Garden. Which she gives gardens. us uh, the White, white Lady tells the knight that she has been awaiting a vessel to accept a gift. That gift being one half of a charm called the King Soul, which oh, she claims okay. will give the knight more power. The White Lady goes on to explain that she can feel the weakening of Where the Hollow Knight. Where do you get the second King Soul from then? She tells the knight that it is free of the blemishes that made the Hollow Knight a flawed vessel. From this dialogue, it is implied that the knight truly is a pure oh, the vessel, white palace. capable okay. of containing the radiance successfully. But it's not quite that simple, oh, it probably so we're going to have to dig a bit deeper into this. Basically, we're going to need to answer a simple question. What exactly does it mean to be a hollow knight? Despite the white lady's words, we have a number of instances where the characters and item descriptions mention that the knight has a will, and maybe even a mind. 
But from the Pale King's dialogue, have you in changed your Hollow mind? Knight, <laughs> you he really that a pure vessel has no mind or will. So is the White Lady wrong? Or maybe you might have to go back lying? and get this ending. Her eyes have been clouded by time, and she can be tricked into thinking that Ogrim is in the room when the knight is wearing the Defender's Crest charm. She also thinks that Drya is still alive, which, uh... Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. So maybe the White Lady is just <laughs> senile. My problem with that theory is that the White Lady states that the vessels stand out to her clearly in a misted world, due to them being her spawn. She also questions whether or not the knight sought her aid, which would imply that the knight must have some kind of will. So for whatever reason, the white lady thinks the knight is still capable of containing the radiance, even if it's still able to make decisions. After all, the hall knight was considered pure, but they still taught it how to wield a fucking sword. I mean, if the knight were truly and completely hollow in a literal sense, it probably shouldn't even be able to walk or draw a map or open a goddamn bank account. <laughs> In short, this whole concept of being hollow is so abstract and hard to define, I don't really feel comfortable giving a solid answer on whether or not the knight is or isn't truly hollow. And I think the game leaves room open for other interpretations. Are you going to open the account or? <laughs> of course, the white lady's gift is useless without the other half of the king's soul. In order to reach it, however, the knight must travel to the white palace, locked inside the body of a king's bolt. In order to bypass the seal, the knight must use a fully awakened dream nail. It can do this by bringing 1800 essence to this. Okay, so after this video, well, I think we're going to do this. Um, I think we'll switch to Hollow Knight, whatever, and then get this and then do. Yeah. And then you guys also mentioned that there's like this thing called the Path of Pain. Whatever that is. Um, that seems like fun. So we'll do that. See her allowing her to sharpen the weapon's blade. If the knight does this, the seer remarks that the knight truly is the wielder that her tribe has been dreaming of. Yeah, I There's think no want explicit it. <laughs> reason why the moth tribe was dreaming about this supposed wielder so much, but it seems like they believe the wielder would wash away the crimes the moth tribe committed by turning their backs on the radiance. The seer seems to know that the knight might kill the radiance, and she seems accepting of it, ready for her and her tribe to disappear and be forgotten forever. With the Awoken Dream Nail in hand, the knight can travel to the Pale King's Refuge and locate the other half of the King's Soul Charm. When equipped, the King's Soul provides a never-ending supply of soul, making it almost useful if it weren't for the insanely high cost of the charm, and the painfully slow rate at which it increases, and the oh, fact that's that awful. the charm will get replaced in about 5 minutes after you get it. The, void the King's Soul Charm itself symbolizes the union between two higher beings. To me, this implies that the King's Soul is a representation of a vessel, which also was created by the union of two higher beings. Ooh. With the King's Soul in their inventory... Some might, the, <laughs> some might say that's even a uh, dalliance. <laughs> Knight now gains access to an area in the Abyss called the Birthplace. In this massive pile of vessel shells, the Knight can find a giant egg. Dream nailing the egg allows the Knight to access its own memory when it was cast down into the Abyss. From viewing that memory, the King's Soul Charm is replaced with the Void Heart Charm. The recollection of this event allows the Knight to come to terms with the Void inside itself. Once the Knight has the Void Heart, the Shades in the Abyss no longer attack it, and that strange creature that gives the Knight the Shade Cloak calls it the Lord of Shades. In other words, the Knight has now bound the once fragmented Void under its own will, allowing it- Chat. Sorry, I just had a thought. So we do, like, on the Twitch channel. I was on the YouTube channel, right? Like, I, I do uh, Breath of the Wild challenges and speedruns and stuff. And then I also do Pokemon stuff as well. Um, I also do cooking, but that's, like, a whatever, and, like, IRL, whatever. What if I also did Hollow Knight? Like, Hollow Knight challenges or whatever? Or Hollow Knight, like, speedruns and, like, Hollow Knight, like... Yeah, there, there's, been, there's been some stuff that's been, like recommended to wow I, that is oh my god <laughs> that is the the most resounding yes <laughs> um yeah Th there's been some challenges recommended to me on youtube of like videos recommended to me uh and we might just like do those and see how it works you get to control the void in a powerful new way with the union of the void the pale king and the white lady the knight has gained a strength before unseen. 
It is with this charm that two additional endings yeah, become scurry. unlocked. Yeah, Scurry. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the guy. Now be yeah, that's the guy who also raided uh, yesterday. Offering to help the knight yeah. should the opportunity scurry. arrive. Midway through the fight with the Hollow Knight, Hornet rushes into battle, subduing the Hollow Knight and piercing its shell. It's at this point that the knight is given the perfect opportunity to enter into the mind of its city, Colorado, thanks for 17 the months. source of the infection head on, and finally putting an end to the Radiance's tyranny. Or I can just stand there and oh, let stay them. get knocked oh, my unconscious. If the knight finishes off the Hall Knight as usual, the sealed sibling ending occurs. Basically, it's the same as the Hollow Knight ending, but now Hornet is in the room too, and her face appears on the door of the Black Egg. It's not clear what exactly this means for Halonest. This might imply that Hornet is now a dreamer, but she's inside the temple, meaning that no one can actually get in there to kill her should the knight ever start leaking infection. At the same time, Hornet mentions that the bindings of the Black Egg would drain her, so she's probably just going to die anyway, right? Uh, Generally, people consider this X. to be one of the worst endings. Sounds even but worse than the ending, the ending that I got. <laughs> doesn't support any one ending as being the true ending. <laughs> hey, Chirac got that ending? <laughs> right. Dude, of and course honestly, he did. <laughs> this ending isn't the worst. At least the Knight and Hornet will get to spend some quality time together. If the knight does dream of the Hollow Knight, it will be taken to an arena where it can finally fight the Radiance head-on. Which we need but to the do. the knight isn't alone, we might, as the other we, shades from the yeah, Abyss will appear in order to help corner the Radiance. Eventually, the Radiance gets trapped in the tendrils of the Void. Oh, that's so cool. The knight cool. bitch slaps her a couple times, and then the Radiance is consumed into the darkness. Whoa. The Black Egg then appears to turn to shadows, and the Void seeps down into the ground. Hornet awakens to find the knight's broken shell lying on the floor. We get one final shot of the shades in the abyss going to rest, and the game is over. This ending is called the Dream No More ending. The Radiance is gone, and Halonest is finally free. I'm from assuming that's infection. the good ending. Now I like, think that it's sounds fair like to ask a ending. few questions about how the Dream No More ending comes about. When the Hollow Knight was initially chosen to become the pure vessel, the abyss was sealed up, and the rest of the vessels were left to rot away. But somehow, vessels ended oh, up yeah, outside that's of true the ending. abyss. Okay. And then one of those vessels was used to replace the Hollow Knight. Exactly how much of this operation was planned, if at all? The White Lady was waiting for a vessel. Did she have any communication with Hornet? Hornet was guarding the King's Brand, the only way for a vessel to enter the Abyss. How did she know it was necessary to guard the King's Brand from weaker vessels? Hell, if the vessels did escape the Abyss by themselves, wouldn't it be pointless to guard the King's Brand? since the vessels could just creep back into the abyss the same way? I'm not going to provide any good answers to these questions, because god forbid I answer anything in this entire video. But I do want to point out that no plans to actually produce the Dream No More ending are explicitly stated in-game, so we can only speculate as to whether or not the White Lady or Hornet, or maybe even the Pale King, knew that they could defeat the Radiance by creating a Lord of Shades like the Knight. Regardless, the next two endings were definitely not planned. In fact, the last two endings so that these are added DLC in the endings, Godmaster I'm assuming. Update almost feel out of place. The Godseekers basically hijack everything to the point where you don't even have to enter the Temple of the Black Egg to beat the game. That's like beating Mario Bros without ever seeing Bowser. But on <laughs> the other hand, the Godmaster endings basically reinforce that Halloness does not exist in a vacuum which can help the world of Hollow Knight feel more real. It's like developing because it, Because what yeah, else I guess. is reality but just a bunch of random chaotic stuff happening all the time? If the Knight finds the Godseeker in the junk pit, it will be able to enter her mind and refight all the bosses in the game. Oh, whoa. This is part of the Godseeker's ritual. They basically attune to the resonance of gods through ritual combat. This allows them to ascend their minds higher and eventually, through the use of godly focus, this seems really achieve hard. communication with the gods sleeping in Halloness' heart. The Radiance. Now I know what you're thinking. That's a pretty convoluted little religious practice they have going on here. Yes. What's next? Are they going to start measuring the Knight's Theon levels? It's pretty complicated, but the point is, they these start Godseekers worshiping have some Scientology? serious capabilities to fuck things up in Halonest, as we're about to see. As the Knight makes it further and further through the four pantheons, the Godseekers get wow, closer it is really and closer okay. to making contact with the Radiance, locked away inside the Hollow Knight. At the end of the fourth pantheon, the Radiance makes herself aware in this strange reunion cutscene between the vessels. But she isn't the only one to make an appearance. The Void itself appears to go on the attack, rising up to meet the Radiance's call. It's at this point that the final challenge, the Pantheon of Halonest, becomes available. The Godseeker finally acknowledges the Knight as being more than just a simple cringer, 
and they begin to watch so, the night so more this intently. thing right here is After the hardest like a bazillion bosses of the, the hardest thing right here like the night this. finally comes face to face with the absolute radiance a stronger more enhanced version of the game's final boss finally the stage is set after roughly 40 minutes of intense agony and tedious boss battles, the knight has finally reached the ultimate enemy responsible for the destruction of Halonest. Truly, this will be a battle for the ages. But first, let's check in on our old pal Menerba. As it turns out, he's still alive when the knight arrives in Halonest, and he's still fulfilling his duty oh after God. all this time. Let's take one last look at his diary. My lovely diary. Someone's gone and broke my favorite sign right oh. there at the top of the crossroads. Keeps happening too. No. But you know, I just can't get mad about it. I should be thanking them, really. <laughs> More chances to fix that beautiful, complex sign. Oh my god. I've stocked up on spare parts, so I've no fear it'll ever stay broken for long. Unfortunately, yeah, I love this. the only way to ever read the Menderbug's diary is to kill him in cold blood. I'm not sure why Team oh. Cherry thought this was necessary, but the general consensus on Reddit is that they are bloodthirsty warmongers, so it checks out. But at <laughs> Menderbug deserved better. <laughs> at least Menderbug's last moments will be spent fixing one of his favorite signs in the Forgotten Crossroads. It's comforting to think that his final seconds of consciousness were spent in total bliss before we sent him hurtling into the infamous chasm that is Oblivion. Well, anyways. The alternate fight between the knight and the radiance plays out differently than in the vanilla ending. This time around, the knight is not accompanied by any shades. Instead, after defeating the radiance, the knight seems to transform into this Whoa, monstrosity. Whoa, what the fuck is that? Now, this creature goes by many names. The God of Gods, the Lord Shade, the Devourer, the Void Entity. But I don't really like any of those, so I will just call him Bill. Bill Classic to Bill. Annihilate the radiance in spectacular fashion. We are then treated to the embrace the void ending. Bill comes back down from the sky, dropping into the rest of God home. The God Seeker starts to get pulled into Bill by void tendrils. We then cut to the God Seeker in the junk pit. Void starts leaking out of her eyes, and it appears as though Bill is making an escape back into the real world, which is probably a bad thing. Finally, we see Hornet standing outside of the black egg as the infection begins to disappear from nearby vines. Hornet hears footsteps coming from inside the black egg as the Hollow Knight reveals itself to her and the two prepare for combat. So from this Dude, what scene, the hell? we see that the Radiance's so death cool. in Godhome actually did kill her for real, meaning that the infection over Halonest is now gone. Okay. This means the seals inside so this is, the black egg so probably wore off. This is the true, true ending then. So there's, the, so there's the bad ending, there's the really bad ending, there's the true ending, and this is like the actual true ending. But like, nobody considers this, the, but I'm assuming nobody considers this the true ending. Like the actual true true ending. Or the true ending. Fuck. Uh, because it's so hard to get to. There's more versions? Okay, wait, let's watch this. Allowing the Hollow Knight to escape its prison. In other words, the Embrace of the Void ending is a goddamn cliffhanger, and we have no idea how Team Cherry plans to follow this up. Silk Song! The Hollow Knight is running loose in Halonest, and the Knight has transformed into a raging void monster that might try to destroy the entire kingdom, or at least what's left of it. What's even more strange about this ending is that the announced sequel, Hollow Knight Silk Song, doesn't seem to be related to this ending at all, but that's a whole different shit show. Obviously, the biggest mystery surrounding this ending is the appearance of Bill. Did this creature exist in the Void already? Or was it somehow willed into existence by the power of the God Seekers? Did the knight turn so into crazy. this thing, or did it just become a part of it? Examining a statue of this creature and other forms of the knight grant the player a Hunter's Journal entry for an ancient artifact called the Void Idol, which might imply this creature might have been worshipped by the ancient civilization. But again, that's pure speculation. We don't know what this worship of Void exactly looked like. Maybe the Void they worship took the form of something more sinister. There is one thing we know about this monster though. It's weak to flowers. Yes, these things. As That's it not turns flowers. Out, those flowers <laughs> Wait, what? that Samir has stockpiled up her ass are actually useful for something. They contain a strange power that even deters the White Lady from touching one. 
The Godseeker, however, is dumb enough to accept a flower from the knight. Yeah, what a loser, if am I right? If the player does this, instead of Void being released out into the world, this flower pulls a no you, and the Godseeker and Void disappear into thin air. Oh. So that's the true, true, but actual true ending. Um, versus the true, true, bad ending. Which is different from the true ending, and the bad ending, and the really bad ending. Real right. quick before you go back to playing Hello Night, thank you for playing Hello Night. Really enjoyed your playthrough, but I have a request for a game you'll love if you're a true Zelda fan. First crucial step, and give it a chance. <laughs> Fucking weeb. <laughs> the flower itself is described as giving off a pale light, which appears to connect it to the pale beings. Like I said before, pale beings appear to be some form of top tier gods. As of right now, we are only aware of two, the pale king and the white lady. But the fact that Zamir brought- Before you, before you come at me uh, for, for donating five dollars and then me calling you a weeb after opening the link, um, uh, I have no plans to play Xenoblade Chronicles, but I have watched um, all of uh, Chugger Conroy's playthrough so far of one and two. These pale flowers from a faraway land implies that there are definitely more of them out there. Another small hint of the existence of pale beings are the pale ore items that can be found all over Hallownest. Did these come from the Pale King, or possibly some other pale being? And what exactly are they? Are they poop? In general, the Godmaster endings appear to be doing a lot of setup it's for poop. future Hollow Knight content. It's poop. Like I said before, Hollow Knight Silk Song doesn't seem to connect to these events on the surface. So we are in a bit of a bind when trying to discuss what these endings actually mean for the greater narrative Team it's, Cherry's building. They said it's a sequel, so There's it's definitely, definitely not a prequel. There's definitely a lot more to consider about what the Pale Beings are and what properties they possess. And we also have plenty of questions surrounding the Void and how bugs have interacted with it in the past. It almost feels like we are looking through a keyhole, trying to grasp onto the totality of Team Cherry's creation. How powerful are creatures like Bill and the Worms? Where did things like the Void even come from to begin with? How much bigger is the world beyond Hallowness? Sequel is the game, not a story. Is Bardoon into butt stuff? Sounds like you've, uh... But of course, that's the appeal of a game really like Really sniffed Hollow a whole Having bag of, of copium. Having to every question would just ruin the mystery of the world. It's all right, Plus, man. if we didn't have questions like this to waste our time on, then what else would we be doing with our lives? Go outside? <laughs> Imagine. Yeah. What a loser. And so this video comes to an end. Now, I know the average attention span of a YouTube viewer is nine minutes. That's so let me leave you with a few takeaways. That's actually true. That's actually, <laughs> that is a, that's a funny meta joke. That's literally true. Uh, like, like if, 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 if I go to my YouTube stats right now, um, let me check for you guys. Um, analytics. Average watch time. Oh, mine's actually 10 minutes and 42 seconds, 46 seconds. So it's a little bit over nine. <laughs> it's just a tad. One, Hollow Knight is a game about bugs. I know this may come as a shock, but it's true. Nice. Watch the video Let's again. go. And this time, pay Let's attention. go. You'll notice right away, I promise. Two, I know that murdering one. Murdering your own babies might not be such a good idea after all. No, that's. I don't. I'll agree with that one. I mean, this is obviously just my interpretation of the game's lore. Other people might have different views on the subject of murdering babies, and every opinion is valid. So I don't want to step on anyone's toes or anything. Three, Menderbug is fucking dead. Four, nothing <laughs> is certain. This video probably Menderbug. has a few flaws in it. The real Trying one. to construct a cohesive narrative with the information found in Hollow Knight isn't exactly straightforward. I'm sure my views will change in the future, and I encourage you to explore the lore yourself. 5. And this last point is fairly obvious, but I should mention it anyway. Cory in the House is the best anime. Let's go! It's a party every week, baby! That's right, I'm in the house! That's probably DMC. I don't think I can play that too much. <laughs> Good take, good take! We take those! <laughs> Dude, what a good video. 
What a goddamn good video, dude. Oh my god. Here, I I will link said video. Uh, I need you guys to go to the video. All right. This is what we do whenever we do a reaction. Go to the video. Uh, and then do um do me, and uh like the video, and then comment something like um I like this video, right? Something like that, and then comment it, right? Uh, and subscribe. Easy. All right. Go do that. Go do that right now. Right now, chat. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. I'll link it one more time. Participate in the group activity. Um, all right, we'll watch a, you guys want to watch a speed run? Um, we'll watch one speed run and then, and then get into, um, and then I guess, and then watch, um, and play some, play some on it. Get, get that, um, get that ending. Um, so Hollow Knight, any percent speed run. It's all probably, yeah, no major glitches. Is that, I'm assuming we're going to do, because, because there's, 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 um, there's two different ones. Here it says Hollow Knight any percent ma no major glitches and then there's Hollow Knight any percent. Actually, it, it's probably better to do like this. Hello. Um. Okay, yeah. So no major glitches versus all glitches. Um. Really? There's only five? <laughs> so I can be like, I'm fifth in the world if I beat this guy. <laughs> Alright, let's check out this one. Easy world record. Wow! I like this guy already. What the fuck? What is this website? <laughs> Am I going to get, like, doxxed by viewing this website? <laughs> the hell is this? Has a... It has a nuclear, it has a nuclear war, like, like, symbol right here. <laughs> is this, <laughs> what does this mean? <laughs> Press it? <laughs> it just leaks your IP address to the rest of chat. Okay. <laughs> Good enough. Oh, timer's on the top. Here, let's let's view um <laughs> let's view one that's not on 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 a website that I have no idea what it is. <laughs> so it gives the launch codes away. <laughs> yeah. I'll turn it up. Alright. So this is uh done on PC with a controller, looks like. Oh, does it? Oh, it also has an auto splitter. That's so nice. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch a no major glitches after this too. Yeah, I think we're gonna run no major glitches. Oh, they did it on steel soul mode. Okay. Tom Toms, thanks for the 100 bits. And Murphy Derby Potato, thanks for the Prime. All right, so like super clean movement here. Okay. What? <laughs> what the fuck is that? What? That's like a, that's like a super slide. That's like the OOT glitch. Okay. Uh, apparently jumping's faster, I guess. Quit to menu? O okay. They're doing menu manipulation or something? Oh, what the? Dude, what the? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Dude, this is like back in time from uh from uh Skyward Sword speedruns. That's so funny. Yeah, they have main menu storage. Dude, 
Do I want to do this, I think? Like, imagine, imagine, like, um, yeah, a bit magic. Yeah, imagine, um, a, uh, a video on, on YouTube, right? Hollow Knight speedruns in 2021 are insane. And then, and then have the, uh, all, all glitches run. It's more fun to watch. I think for, like, we'll, we'll watch both, but yeah. The Smant title? <laughs> yeah, it's the Smant title. And then every year I update it by one year. Dude, like he, it's so fucking funny. Let me show you this before we continue. Right? This video, Breath of the Wild speedruns in 2021 are insane. Whoa, I'm that's crazy. It came out in 2019, guys. <laughs> he updates the year every year. And then the clicks go back up. <laughs> Anyways. It's a five head moon. Okay. Still menu in it here. Okay. I this is I probably have to do this in like post commentary or something, if 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 I actually did this. No, I know ma no major glitch is more fun. I I realize that you don't have to keep saying like chat. But it seems like a a more, uh, clickable video. We'll see so in a second though. Wow, okay, so that's a skip already. <laughs> Wait, they're under they can walk in the water? What? Okay. That's insane. Okay, so they're already in the resting grounds. That's nuts. You can just ascend, I think. But why are they going to the resting grounds? Oh, because they have to unlock this to get to the black egg, I think. Oh, we'll have to see. Oh, get the dream nail. That's probably it, yeah. That makes sense. So all of this is getting the dream nail. Like so 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 the speed run is to set up menu manip. Um get to the dream nail as fast as possible get the dream nail and then i'm assuming go immediately to the black egg with menu manip <laughs> oh and you have to wait because this is like a like um <laughs> all right so so this this is uh uh like a side scroller so you have to you have to wait there okay Look at the splits. What the fuck? Okay, wait, wait. First off, any percent gun mod. All right, we got to check that out. But um, city. So it's five minutes to get to the city. And then from the city, it's just dreamer one, dreamer two, dreamer three. And then, wow, okay. One of them's just scream. <laughs> It's all the same dreamer? Wait. No, you just get Lurian three times. Dude, there's no shot. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you become Jesus. Sick. Okay, so you literally walk on water. Good to know. Okay. Classic. Just casual. 
I know what they're doing. Oh my god, I, I know what they're doing here. Oh, that's so creative. This is my guess. This is my best guess at, at, at what they're doing here. So, visually, they have one game loaded. So, like, this is the game that they're going to beat Hollow Knight on. This is what they're going to do. But then, in the other games, um, they actually have, like, the collision loaded for theirs those other games so like so so that like step up step up right there was probably like like dirt mouth or something uh or or something similar uh, that's what i'm thinking so so they have the game so they have two games loaded one on top of the other one's the visual game that counts for you know beating it and the other one's like like more like a framework physics That's, that's what I'm thinking how this works. If so, that is very five-headed. How they came up with this. Because then they also have to... Um, like, when you think about it, they also have to route this. Okay. Wonder why they opened the menu for that. Um, I only thing I can think of for for opening the menu there is like lag loading, like it it, it makes the game load faster somehow. Yeah, with the drop there too. Inventory dropping does a hard fall. Oh, okay, so it saves you the cutscene of hard fall afterwards, if you don't have dash. Okay, that makes sense. Is that Mike Wazowski in the corner? I have no idea. <laughs> Funny though. Oh, that's that's smart. Okay, so they didn't have like a room to load there, so then they just pogoed. So they led the enemy over and pogoed. That's smart. No. I don't know what's happening here. But uh, new new split. Uh, time, I think. Oh, and this is time without loads, too. Okay, so it's not RTA. What is going on? What? <laughs> What the fuck? Dude, that's crazy. That's actually nuts. That's called Televator. Oh, like a teleport. Dude, I love that. Okay. So they went into the Dreamer and then quit to menu or one of the menus. They're doing another menu manip with... Okay, so then they can now probably have, like, three different rooms overlaid on top of each other. This is insane. Yeah, 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 you see right here? Yeah, so they're on, they're on game four or something, or they reloaded one of their other games. I don't know. We'll have to figure this out later. This is wild. Uh, I, we're going to watch the no major glitches after this too. And then I want your opinion on which one, which one, I want your opinion on which one we should do uh, as a video for YouTube. We're going to do both. But for the, uh, but for the video of like, um, Hollow Knight speedruns are in 2021 are insane. Um, we'll figure it out. Okay, you guys are saying no major glitches right now, okay? <laughs> but I haven't seen no major glitches yet. And if no major glitches is boring, <laughs> somehow, then we're gonna do this one. This one's kind of insane. With that title, you should do this one, though. 
That's what I'm thinking. If, I don't know what title I would go for with no major glitches. It's easier to understand it's cool. Okay. I'd probably do like post commentary for this then. I'm thinking of like doing like a no a low percent run. It was like Scurry did like a like a video. I saw the thumbnail of it. I didn't click on it. Where it was like you stay in a room for like 40 hours, and I think I want to do that. No major glitches is more popular, but for non Hollowite viewers, the quick time is interesting. Yeah, I think I think menu manip like this is pretty interesting. It would be a really short video though. It'd be like an eight minute video. So you just kill the same dreamer three times. <laughs> and you have like storage or something where it doesn't really, it, it's like it thinks that you've killed three dreamers. That's crazy. Is that was watch time 10 minutes it would fit? Because the average YouTube video is 20 minutes and you watch 50% of it. Your viewers have a pretty low attention span. Yep, you're correct. If, you, if you've seen chat, during any Breath of the Wild stream. You would know that. <laughs> it's a little annoying, <laughs> to be honest. So this is the scream split. Assuming they go to the black egg. Monka W. Move a flex when you say eight minute video and the world record's nine minutes. I mean, you got to cut out like the non non fun parts. You can see a punk girl versus H rock hollow Knight speed on race. I know you can do, um, I know you can do multiplayer hollow Knight. That's a mod. I know that exists. No a fence crow, but scurry is my favorite. That's fine. <laughs> At least my viewers know how to do English. <laughs> no a fence, guys. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, I don't, I don't care if if uh, I I really don't care. <laughs> I'll be honest. <laughs> That's awesome. Seems they seem like a great creator. I just think the no a fence is just fucking hilarious. Whoa! First off, no a fencers in chat. <laughs> Any no a fencers? Second off, what? So this is the Crystal Palace with the Hollow Knight. Yeah, it's multiple lo rooms loaded at once. I was right. Dude, I was right about this. So does he die? Because of like entity cramming or something here, or he. Oh, then you actually want like good RNG. That's actually so funny. Oh my god, that's actually so funny. Yeah, because the crystals are a hitbox, and it takes damage from the crystals, so it's not like entity cramming or anything. It's literally taking damage from PVE stuff. That's so funny. Like environmental damage. <coughs> I actually kind of want to do this run. So there is RNG involved. Um, yeah, and that's the run. So there is RNG involved, and the RNG in that case is uh the hollow knight's attack patterns so wow good run good run guys claps hell yeah so that was by this was not world record this was uh second place uh that was hollow knight the fastest hollow knight speed run um all glitches Oop. hello all glitches in nine minutes and 57 seconds about 11 months ago but no major glitches is the one that's actually run. 
um, which is done in 32 minutes without loads, but 38 minutes with loads. So this is no major glitches. So this is the other one that we might do. Also, if you're hey, if you're liking the stream and this fun speedrun analysis, I'm glad. I'm just sick that um, I'm just excited that we got that right. Actually, <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. That that, that I understood what menu what, what they were doing with menu storage. That was kind of new, uh, kind of nice. But hey, if you're watching the stream and you haven't followed already, feel free to follow the stream. Uh, we're gonna kind of look into some of this later. Um, this is very interesting. Uh, we might be doing some Hollow Knight speedruns in mods later, because it seems like you guys are really into it, and it's intriguing me, at least. Should I modify an emote? You shouldn't, because you have no free will. Uh, and I say not, not to, so. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's the quality on this. How, how how big of a difference is the world? <laughs> I want like a better quality for stream. 3307. Yeah, we'll take this. I know, 480p. Do not. Oh, the mic. Oh, I still have, oh, I still have my, <laughs> that's funny. Okay. Hello. Domin Eyes, thanks for the six months. All right, so this is Fireborn. Oh, that is loud. That is loud. How's it going, guys? Hey, how's it going, Fireborn? People, hey, guys. People, hey. All right, so we'll take a look at this. Um, but yeah, after this, we're gonna get true ending and uh, path of pain. Check out the three minutes speed run from Fireborn where you ignore the Herogrub as fast as possible in new game. We'll check that out, probably. Well, it, it, depending on how, how into this we'll get, yeah. We'll probably do that actually after this. Um, but I wanna do, um, I wanna do, I want to get get true ending and um everything else and, and path of pain and stuff, and then uh, and then we'll speed run this. I think this category is hell optimized. As long as I just like get like a decent time or like mid level time, I'm I'm okay with it. Or, or, or like a time where I can like explain what's going on and like everything happening for like a YouTube video. Oh. Seems kind of fun. Oh, Fireborn made the any percent video. Oh. For no major wishes. Sick. Elderbrug? Fuck Elderbrug. The bower is basically where that is. Yeah, so so that's like uh, Breath of the Wild's like sub 45 minutes, I guess. Or no, I'd say like sub 35 minutes is where sub hours in this thing. This is pretty cool. I just optimized movements here. No, I mean, I was about to say. This is going to sound so stupid. I was about to say no major glitches okay, so far. Sorry. I'm an idiot. This is the no major glitches category. Thanks for the host. That's funny. You're welcome for the host. Hey, I'm right. I am assuming Fireboard's more in streams on Twitch. I'm feeling good today. Like a lot better than the last few days. So. Is he streams on Twitch? Or is it on YouTube? Oh, streams on YouTube. Oh. Ew. Gross. Gross. I like I like just went live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's Axe doing? I don't know if it's like me, but like YouTube <laughs> chats scare me in like a unique kind of way. Dude, this movement's insane. Um, but there's but no like sequence breaks. I'm assuming we're looking for sequence breaks here to, to beat the game in 30 minutes. I hope not, Chatty. <laughs> it was good. Yeah, that's why I stream on Twitch. Plus, like, the emotes and, like, community is better. I had another one last night, so I'm a little bit scared, but we'll see. Yeah, YouTube chats are a different breed. I mean, my Breath of the Wild chats I are pretty bad. I managed not to die but... yesterday while I was choking Mantis Claw, but so... But if that was on YouTube, that's, like, oh, an God. improvement. I only lost a minute. Did not die, though. 
Whoa, this is insane. All right, so what if he hits? Oh, okay, so that's like good RNG. So if he did like this the swing time loss. over, that seems like that. Sarah, thanks for the three months. And Jacob, oh my God, thanks for the five gifted. That's very kind of you. Thank you so much for those five gifted. Have you seen Alpharad's YouTube chat? No. Oh, whoa. You can do that. I haven't seen Alpharad's YouTube chat. Uh, is it bad? <laughs> and I killed. You can do this. Wait, so you can... Oh, whoa, okay. So there's like a there's like a visual cue here where it starts going away. And you can actually just skip the fight. Wow. And I killed literally every I know that. mantis. That's, that's not... In that last screen. Like, I know that's intended. I know that's actually intended. That was the best part. If I know you could do that intended. But so far, there's been no unintended strat. Going around is get. so scary when you have one HP. Because, like, when you get to the far right, there's, like, the two flying mantises, and there's the one that's on the ground, too. Snail! And you have to try and get past the one that's on the ground quickly. While the two ones that are flying... How's the, are how's the volume, by the way, guys? It's awful. Hey, Lashton. <laughs> I've been streaming a little bit recently. Good? But okay. Usually, I don't stream too much. Nice, so he's nice. spamming XAXA. -A. Oh, I like how you can't see it. It's behind me, but he has a controller cam. That's actually pretty helpful for later. I've just been streaming because of the uh, hotfix. But yeah, I, I couldn't do YouTube chat, dude. Which is where I, plus, plus like all my like streamer friends are on Twitch. So like I, I couldn't give up like Cutie, Simply, Molly Ant, like this. No, uh, there's no way. H-Rock. There's like no shot, dude. Like if YouTube if YouTube wanted me to stream on their platform, I would have to like Oh no. Get like an exorbitant amount of spot. money from them. <laughs> like a disgusting amount. You can deal stream? No, I can't. That's what's next, Fury. That's next. <laughs> uh that's against my contract. It's against every um streamer's contract with partner. You can only like, stream on Twitch. Actually and only Twitch. See I'm actually pretty sure I can't stream on YouTube. I, I can't stream like, on TikTok. <laughs> or it's a two minute run. I can I'm pretty sure you can't. Like, I th I'm pretty sure it's not allowed. You know, Same with like Instagram Live. Input, basically. I think it's literally just Twitch. But if it's an entire run. You actually oh, sell man. your soul away. That would be hard. All right, the so far it's just optimized movement. I'm waiting is, for, uh, oh. Like THK and watch your nights. Oh. Whoa, that's different. Okay. So this is something cool. Gabe, uh, I think does both YouTube and Twitch simultaneously. It's, first off, I think it's a dumb idea. I'll be honest. Uh, but second off, um, I don't think he's part nerd. Um, or if he is part nerd, he's, he's about to not get partnered if someone finds out. It's actually really, like, that's actually, like, a really intense thing with, like, Twitch takes that very seriously. That would be hard. Yeah, if they, yeah, if, yeah, I mean, you can, you can't do it, like, simultaneously, but if, like, you stream on Twitch. No. I know you have the 24-hour exclusivity clause. And I know if you're partnered, I don't think you can stream on any other platform. But if you're affiliated, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter right now. Um, so what is, what is this here? The only thing I'd be super worried about is, uh, like, THK and Watcher Knights. Oh, my. Oh, so you shoot the spell. It hits the... It goes to the end of the screen. Uh, it hits the guy, and then you load it in more, so it hits more. God. That's crazy. That's cool. That just saves some time. Wow, that's cool. Okay, that's really cool. So you can't reach that normally, but if you look away spell and then jump back down, you can actually make that. It like extends it. It like resets your momentum, it looks like. That's cool. Really Pepo split, even though I had So you can get to uh, um what's her face sooner. Hornet sooner. That's pretty cool. The problem is that I'd look dumb because I'd always be getting lost in the dark. <laughs> it 
would be fun to do though, I think. It would be very silly, but fun. Of no offense, but your brother ball chat sucks. It's funny. No offense. Ah, uh, the nice. Uh, my geo was pretty low before that. You missed it. Sorry, I was reading an email. Um. Really, Pepo split, even though I had great RNG. What retention span the YouTube viewers? Nah, it's not attention span. I was thinking about what I wanted to say. Too far? Well, I didn't see this part, so fuck off. <laughs> I, I, I actually. The problem is that I because he hasn't done the fireball. I'd always be getting lost in the dark. <laughs> It would be fun to do, though, I think. Interesting. It would be very silly, but fun. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so it's the same skip. But you do two instead because it, it gives you backward momentum. That's It re resets your momentum and pushes you backwards. Nice. Oh. So that actually gets you the Hornet tight faster. Cool. Ooh, that was close to not working. Wow. Okay, so that's why you hit the bug. Kind of thing. All right. So you can get more fireballs like that. Uh, it's going to be the first It's a super hard skip. Right at 8 p.m. Eastern. Really? Oh, that guy was in a bad spot. You know it's a hard skip when... You know it's a good player when they make it look easy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't know. GDQ likes to end with like bigger runs, I guess. I don't know. They did do a GDQ uh Hollow Knight run. Oh, which no. was uh with visuals. I think it was like true ending any percent or something. Why do they save Zoe? What the hell? Why is that fast? <laughs> Why do you save Zoe there? Don't wanna end For money. With a Mantis Claw death. Okay. Oh god. Same thing, uh, same thing I do There's whenever I, uh, of... shout out Twitch Prime, you know? Like, that's what I, that's what I do. Any, uh, any Prime gamers? All you gotta do is you gotta press that subscribe button, check to see if your Prime is available. Really easy. You gotta manually renew it, so all you need to, come on, it was a good, it was a good plug. Come on, you guys said money, I was like, hey, Primers, you know? <laughs> I can continue. <laughs> I got one thanks to the Prime, I appreciate it. <laughs> Oh my god, change category. Oh, the pink cow. I didn't know you were, uh, you were a streamer. That's my bad. Uh, I, I, I didn't know that the just chatting category wasn't good enough for you. My bad. Quarter second mistakes. No, Echo One, you're a real one, though. <laughs> Dude, it, it's, there's one thing with backseat gaming. There's nothing with backseat streaming. It always impresses me, <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's a good point, actually. I'm like, wow. <laughs> That's a fast. Oh, I do know about this mechanic. If you hit Hornet or any any boss seven times, they'll um uh, they'll stagger. Or if you hit them thirteen times. mistake there, but so it's thirteen times anytime or like seven times within like a period of two seconds or something. Yeah, it's like fast stagger. Oh, it's five for Hornet. Okay. Depends on the boss. D5 cool. at the end kind of makes sense. So this is about Maybe third two. through the... Eh, it's a little bit less than the third through the run. About fourth. Uh, with Hornet yeah, 1. I wonder how they skip late. the rest of the game. Because they have to get the rest of the Dreamers here. And uh, I'm just wondering how fast they do that with no major glitches. I'm glad I have this sleep schedule to watch it all. I mean, it's really cool. I don't know, but I'll be honest. The uh, major glitches is more broken. I mean, for obvious reasons, it's major it's glitches. very safe. I think I might do that for the video if I make one. But I'll, I would do no major glitches for like a Hollow Knight speedrun for like actual casual stuff. You know? 
But I think I would do like the, the major glitches for a video of like, you know, Hollow Knight speedruns in 2021 are insane. Even though that it was literally set in 2020, but you know. <laughs> yeah, I feel We'll be the ones to do in 2021. Europe, won't be able to watch. Post the boast. Yeah, I probably will in the future. Seems interesting though. I wonder. Okay, so how do you? I've been failing. <laughs> I was wondering how you do this. <laughs> I was I like, I was like, there's like he stops. He stops right, like right here. And I'm like, I see, I, I know you need double jump for this. How the fuck do you do that? That This is crazy. This is actually insane. Oh my God. Dude, that's I've actually- I've failing that recently. <laughs> I, got, I failed Epogo twice in my last run yesterday. That's what they, oh, they call it, Eplogo? Like explosion? That's so funny. Whoa! <laughs> okay, that's insane. Sad stuff. That was a really good pace. Dude, this is insane. They call it Epogo, that's what it is. Not Explo I like mine better. Explogo. The problem now is I'm so afraid of- <laughs> I like Explogo. We'll call it that. things up that I- I think, I think they're- um, so safe that I mess up. I think they're really <laughs> missing, missing the uh, quality there. Yeah. Unfortunate. It's a good name. Not really a good pace anymore. Don't worry, dude. It'll be a good run. Probably. Maybe. I'm just saying if we do major glitches, I mean, it doesn't seem very RNG. Dependent. <laughs> I'm gonna... I, I'm gonna have to run live split, like, off of OBS, so... We'll just say it's a 32 no matter what. <laughs> My life sort breaks constantly on the way. Thanks, Beefy Foil. So what I'm seeing here is just a lot of optimized movement with an interspersed. I'm assuming they get that for later. Uh, interspersed really difficult glitches. Like really difficult glitches. Shade skip incoming. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, that's insane. Okay, that's actually insane. <laughs> Alright, so you try to get as many out with one one spell there as possible, okay? That RNG. Oh well. So they run in Chinese, I'm assuming here. I don't know what that charm is either, but yeah, what is that charm? Scatter like that sometimes. It's not a whole lot you can do. I should have. My second Shaman PS stone? cast was like a bit I too spell low. damage. Then that was okay. the only mistake. I don't know how much it would have done because I couldn't have hit. Okay, then you get the uh, last four of them anyway. Cool. Probably for later. All right, so he's dying on purpose. So this is part of shade skip, I'm assuming. So he's trying to die. It's okay to mess up the husks because I can just blame all my. Okay, time so you get the RNG. shade to notice you, and then you jump off. You. Oh, we oh, gotta watch that again. <laughs> That's so crazy, dude. That movement is insane. It's okay to mess up the husks because I can just. Blame so you all get the shade's attention, and then when it's at like a certain spot, it's probably like right around like here, right? Then you jump over, and then you pogo what twice on the shade? No, just once. Wow, that's. They have one shot to get it too.
That's the nice thing about having RNG in your speedrun. You don't have to take responsibility. <laughs> Why is it in French? <laughs> Why is the game in French, guys? Chat, why is it in French? Oh my god! I'm gonna be like plus 15 probably. Oops. That's okay though. I have to be careful if I do that movement to not soft lock here or hard lock. Uh, I can translate there. <laughs> the dreamer said, "Wee wee ho ho." They get. Hopefully, I get the uh, first oh, platform wee -wee. jump. <laughs> uh, it, um, Eiffel Tower. <laughs> I know, People chat. That's just awful RNG. <laughs> so I guess you uh, fall off there, so it loads faster. Interesting. Whoa! I can never. That's Whatever crazy movement. To messing that up. The rest of that was good. The controller's better in my opinion, just depends on the purpose. Yeah, I mean like <laughs> Yikes. I would probably run controller because I, I, I played all RNG time loss casually so through it. Okay. With controller. So that makes sense. I get a notification for when crow streams, how it's unacceptable. Yeah, not many people are anymore. It's kind of like... Whatever. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's not fun on stream. Yep, brain RNG. You missed it? No, I saw the sleepwalking. I think it was important to comment on. It seems like a visual glitch. It doesn't seem like anything. Actually, it's just random, basically. Oh, it saves time. Probably saves time from, like, getting up then, yeah. That makes sense. And faster fall. Yeah, they do that, like, storage thing with, like, menu. So they... So they don't do the heavy slow. fall. That's what we learned in the last one. There doesn't seem like a hard trick there. You just press like menu and then you fall. Uh, that was okay. I'm okay with that. I didn't get hit, which is nice. Oh, it also uncaps fall acceleration. Ooh. I will fail that so many times in a speeder and I will tell you. <laughs> Note to bench there. No, I know you can't do it on Switch. Well, I'll, I'll have to like download the PC version. We'll finish the game and like we'll get the sorry, we'll get the true ending on 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 Switch. Armando. And then if I speed run this, then we'll do it with it really actual is. like PC stuff, you know. And we'll do it in in French. Chinese? No, this is French. That's that little extra bit of suffering. <laughs> now, Celeste runs have, like, out-of-game RNG. He's, he's running in like, French. If you start getting hand problems, that's kind of RNG. That's, like, the worst kind of RNG, actually. I do agree that the RNG adds a bit to the game, but it also, like, eventually you just know what to do in every Really clean situation. here. Whoa, that's a cool skip. Not that it's not a skip, sorry. It's 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 good speed here. This is cool. So, um, right here. I don't know if you guys noticed this. A bit to the game, but it also. But he hits the. Like eventually you just. It's a skip. It is a skip. Okay, he hits from he hits the switch from below. Don't know what to do in right there. Oh, it is a skip because the switch is yeah. So he he hits the switch from below Every here. Situation. 
and then it opens it up. Not that oh, but it doesn't like, like load the area at that point yet, but so you have to do that, I guess, like in there. darkness. Okay, that's cool. Pretty neat. So how do you do Watcher Nights? Probably. Fast. That's my question right now. Yeah, 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 chat. See? Look, French. See? French. See this? Thank you. <laughs> uh, okay, so it's just fast fight. Easy strat. Yeah, drop the chandelier. Is what he did there. I didn't know that was in there. That's cool. That's that's also a really cool strat. So it's 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 like hit spell, hit spell. Dream nails for more soul. Why did he swing? Yeah, and then you spell as they're going away. That's so cool. Dude, that was a good split. Yeah, hit, hit, shit. jump, spell, hit, hit. That's cool. Yeah, so you can get more uh, soul. And the double hits, too. Crazy speedruns. Yeah, it does. Only, only nail damage. So that's first. So we're halfway through the run here. Um, so it looks like run just goes dream nail and then three three dreamers and egg. Um, which just no, seems nervous. standard for any percent. They don't skip anything like that. But I, okay, so I think my speed, the first speed run I want. This is still behind my PB though. So maybe I shouldn't I be nervous. Put weight on my wrist. Oh, oh. Give me a second, Chad. Oh, oh. I need, I'm going to take some ibuprofen. I got Cliff Bar too. All right. Uh, what I was going to say is, uh, I think we're going to start with speed running major glitches first, based on what I've seen here. Yo, thanks, Finn. Uh I also, Chad, I have, I have a doctor's appointment on um next Wednesday, so. <clears throat> It's not even sub 17, who cares? I'm, I'm comparing against some of that scurry. Unless you know that. Interesting. Hey, you got some golds in this. Now the question is, do we do Pog X? <laughs> Pog X. Remember What's, what happened what the last time? Pog X. Another that speedrun trick here. Sloppy movement. Mango gold split. Says who cares? I mean, I do that all the time. 
I'm like, cool. Yeah, cool I think nice. need Pog Axe. Pog Axe, is it? You pogo run. on an axe. <laughs> what? You pogo with an axe. All right, we'll have to see this. Seems interesting. That was nice. Saves like 10 seconds. Pog ass. Yes. Oh, man. I shouldn't have asked you guys. <laughs> you guys are just going to say yes. <laughs> see, hey, Where's all that? Twitch chats are basically the same, right? Hey, chat, should I um, go outside and eat shit? Yeah, all right, cool. <laughs> yes, do it. <laughs> Next, <you> need him. <laughs> I knew you guys would say yes. You can lose six seconds to it. It's when you like go off the axe, dude. That's funny. It saves two seconds. Bell me Arvid. Like, on average, it saves time. So, I should go for it. Go for it so I can see but it. But it can really mess up your run. Go for it so I can see it. Definitely don't. Come on, Fireborn. Let's go, Fireborn. Oh, I'm so glad he walked right. Not glad that guy walked right, though. People clap. Fire born. Let's go. We'll see how I'm feeling when I get to it. I don't really know. If I lose time beforehand. That's cool. All right, so a lot of this is optimized movement, which is fine. <laughs> um, but it, 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 what's cool about it is it, it makes it very skill intensive. Yeah, I've gotten God Pixel six this times in a row. God runs. Pixel. So it's 100% guaranteed. What the fuck was that mashing? Oh my god. I have two questions. First off, Dink Donk uh, for the bell, right? First off, Dink Donk, Dink Donk right? Yeah, I've gotten God Pixel. Okay. Uh, for the bell. Second off, um, this mashing is insane, right? People chat. Thanks. Okay. Let's see this in a second. Yeah, I've gotten God Pixel six times in a row in runs. So it's 100. So he so he he puts down his controller and um hits his keyboard. <laughs> uh, and then and then he goes, okay, cool, cool. And second off, third off, I guess, what's God Pixel? 100% guaranteed. Uh, my favorite boss is THK for sure. All right, we're doing Pog Axe. All right, so this is Pog Axe. What does that do? He says Pog Axe is in like one minute. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's the lantern. I forgot. Yeah, Chris will be to you. Because then you can access the, stole, uh, the toll booth. That's crazy. Yo, Bagel. Yeah, so this one right here, yeah. And then Geo for... Okay, I see why you get Geo too. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know, dude. So God Axe is coming up? Let's see. It's not even a run yet. It's not a run until... After Queen's Gardens, asset skip. Like Pog Axe, also oh, known as Star Pixel. Are they different? That was Pog Axe. What? That's Pog Axe. That's what it is. Okay, that's crazy. Look at this. He poked. This guy's this guy's about to throw his axe right here at the knight, and then he pogo's off the axe to get up right here. See that right there? That's nuts. I was so scared. 
That was Pogax. So what's God Pixel? <sighs> the streak. The streak is dead. Oh, was it supposed to be there? But he didn't get it. So here's here's my assumption. So God Pixel's right here. He's going to try to go through this guy. And there's probably like a pixel, a god pixel, where you don't take damage from. You just go through it. Yeah. Wow. <sighs> the streak. The streak is dead. That's crazy. <laughs> Sounds disappointed. I'm not disappointed at all. It's nuts, dude. <laughs> it's more like frame perfect. Fuck. <laughs> uh, it probably doesn't save too much time though. So it doesn't really matter. It's probably like a, like a swag strat where it's like, it saves like a couple frames. Whoa! What is this? Let, let me play it all the way through first. So we can see it. Like that. And then you can dash again. That's like a double dash. And then this platforming is insane. It's <laughs> like a one cycle. Oh, you have to wait there. That makes it difficult. Dude, that's crazy. Two strats at once, dude. Jeez. I usually do the turnaround so that. Oh, it like, saves the hit when it makes this part easier. Which is that part. Okay, that makes sense. Just barely missed it. It's an okay time for the. And they get cr Crystal Dash. Split. Crystal Dash! <clears throat> Not too bad. I'm happy with it. All right, and it's like a bench warp or whatever they call it. 22 minutes in. 10 minutes left to the run. So what is this now? <laughs> wow! What is this? Acid skip? I was trying to do this. Dude, I was trying to do this. Right? This is when I was trying to figure out how to go past the acid in the game. I tried to do this. This is my attempt. Yeah, that's crazy. So you, so you can't do it on modern patch. Is, is, is what I'm getting at. But you can do it on this one. You can do it on Modern Patch. Oh. Interesting. This one seems terrible. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I hate Fog Canyon. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> it's the worst. So Crystal Dash is the fastest um, mode of travel, it looks like. So they keep using it. It also, like, obviously looks like it's the fastest mode of travel. What time is it? Yeah, we'll have time to play Hollow Knight after this. Uh, if you guys want. All right, so this is Umu. So how do you do Umu fast? Cause it's like a side scroller. Okay, so short circles. Oh, it literally is a side scroller. Oh, wow. Okay, so this could kill runs. This could straight up kill runs if you have bad RNG. Oh, okay.
So you just try to do as much damage as possible. And then you uh, Dream Nail to get more soul. So you can uh, two cycle it, I'm assuming. You think you have Otter Scroller? What am I saying? Just do an extra one on it. Oh, I meant Otter Scroller. Did, did I say something else? Shit RNG. <laughs> that was shit RNG. Oh my god, that was bad. Wait, if that's shit RNG and this is third place, by like a couple seconds, world record isn't that opt isn't it's optimized, but it's not that optimized. Probably killed the 32 pace. The yeah, energy's four attacks before the first break. Oh, but world record's 32 seconds faster. Okay. <laughs> so world record super optimized. This isn't one like a uh, really optimized. Passes in a league of his own. All right. Well, once I uh, un unsprain my, I'm assuming I think it's sprained. I'll be honest. That's what I think it happened. <laughs> I think it's sprained. I don't think I have carpal tunnel at twenty at twenty three years old. <laughs> Oh, I think it's sprained. But once it's unsprained, <laughs> then we'll um uh th then we'll uh we'll beat past. <laughs> M maybe I will be the god tier Hollow Knight runner next. That's probably such a lie. But you never know. What actually happened? It'll be a YouTube video next. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the next YouTube video. Um although I'm scared that it's going to come out when Spance video comes out. Uh, cause he, he, he it was, um, speed running calculated for Nintendo Switch. Um, and I'm afraid that if I come out with my video after his, then people will ignore, uh, how insane the runs were and the story of how I like, I, we're gonna pause this because I need to, and, and the story of how like, you know, I basically just ruined my wrist, you know? Um, yeah, but his video, they're separate videos, but because they're the same, like, thing, <laughs> you know, so, and also invented the speedrun. That's not untrue. I, I wasn't the first person to think of the speedrun in the game, but yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's see what this was. This is QGA. It's extra hard, by the way. I mean, you're like half in the acid. That's nuts. So Queen's Garden Acid is, is what I'm assuming it stands for. Harder than the other acid skip. Okay. Okay. But like how hard? G give it a scale of 1 to 100. How hard is that? Um, 1 being like casual strats. 100 being literally frame perfect ESC. Uh, unbuffered ESC. It's like 80, 90. I'm assuming that kills a lot of runs. You can also tell if Fireborn knows he's on a run because he stopped talking. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, but yeah. Fuck. <laughs> uh, I'm just a little scared that, like, I'm gonna release another video and then a whole bunch of people will call me a copycat again. It's not fun for the mental health, I'll be honest. Like, I posted I posted my most recent video, the BT, uh, the best theoretical time, and people call me a copycat, even though it's a totally different game and a totally different speedrun. I'm like, really? <laughs> Apparently, if you compile... The best theoretical time from a game. Jesus Christ. That's copying all right now. <laughs> so cool. Makes for a not fun comment section and also really not fun for a Twitch comment for Twitch chat. Uh, there's no really way to stop it. I just got ignored. It. It's a good video though. My God, that could, that video is good. Seems like a lot of you guys like it too. It's doing very well. It's almost like it's going to get like 200k by the end of the day. 
This is fast movement with deep nest. Jeez. It's like really fast movement. Jesus Christ. Sig, thanks for the tier two for 14 months. Thank you. Apparently I missed a month somewhere. Nah, you're good. That's funny though. But yeah, a uh, new so video much. will be out soon. I just need to sign a contract real quick. Uh, that's what that's what's uh, bringing it back. So, Fireborn isn't happy with the movement though. To a casual, as someone who's like played this literally casually just like last week, uh, this is very impressive. <laughs> this is crazy. Fireborn's nuts. Uh, new favorite YouTuber right here, Fireborn. <laughs> Okay, I'm assuming this is also RNG. That's, that's, okay, so these guys, this has to be RNG. It's either they, this guy didn't move forward, or, um, this guy, or, or he wants to open up faster. So these guys apparently suck. There's a little bit of RNG. Yeah, cause, cause instead of scuttling back, you can actually like jump over it, I'm assuming, for this one. But he scuttled back, so then if you jump over, you're gonna take damage. So we kind of got screwed here, yeah. So he has to wait. Yeah, Scary also makes good Hollow Knight videos. Yeah, he rated the stream yesterday, which was crazy. Because I just, like, I was recommended one of his videos. And I saw the thumbnail. I'm like, oh, that sounds cool. I'll watch it after I watch the lore videos today. And then and then see if I can, like, maybe do the challenge myself. And then he raids me. And I'm like, this is, this is like, a, the simulation's broken. <laughs> they, do I keep do I keep saying... I probably keep saying he. I know I, you guys have mentioned they. That is still my bad. I know. I know they're envy. You guys. You guys mentioned it before. Uh, did I say he? Or or did I just like? I did. Okay. Uh, I I do not say them. I'm I'm still I'm still very like like I know I need to do that. <laughs> um, it's just always it, for some reason like my brain is still like wired. I call like everybody dude as well. So it's like. I understand. It's just like I need to wire it back. That's my bad. Thanks for correct. Correct me every time I do that, Lily, <laughs> so I can get better at it. No, I know dudes like gender neutral. Some people, <laughs> some people are like oh, when I'm like dude, they're like, dude, that's not okay to say. <laughs> or they, they're like, that's not okay to say. I'm like dudes, like I come on, I call like everybody dude. I call my sister dude. I called my sister chat once. Okay, like come on, <laughs> like really. <laughs> Run! He... Fuck Fireborn. Dude, fuck Fireborn. In... If I run, no major glitches. This is my campaign. If I run, no major glitches. Point Crow, me, Point Crow, will promise to save this grub. It's a mimic. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, fuck that grub. <laughs> fuck that grub. <laughs> fuck you. That grub Jesus. sucks. <laughs> Dude. Oh, it's not a mimic. It's a real grub. I will save that grub. Hear me now, Twitch chat. I will save that grub. I will give him a life. Give him freedom. Save grubs, not pixels, not frames. Point crow for 2020 yeah, president. I killed it. 2021. That's yeah, right. Really fuck up. I will save the grubs. People riot against Fireborn. Doesn't save grubs. Actually the worst. Uh, you know what? <laughs> if I was actually dedicated. If I was actually like really dedicated. Like really, really into just like Hollow Knights. Like, I'm still dipping into it, you know? Um, but what I would do is I would literally aim to get a thir like faster than 3307 while saving the grub just for pettiness. Um, however, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm going to spend that much time playing this. So <laughs> that'd be insane, but this is also third place and that's like Messed kind of incredible. Badly, I don't think I'd be able to manage that. Really bad RNG. <laughs> I'll try not to die. I'm right, but. I'm watching all of Insurgents right now. Take my call. The rest of the Insurgents like rods should, should be up soon. Seconds. They should be. They w like, uh, I say that. Man. I'll work on them tonight. Yeah. It was just barely 32 pace. Captain Bobalob, thanks for the Prime Gaming. Hey, and thanks for all the follows too, guys. Appreciate it.
first run of the day too. <laughs> Whoa, shit. First run of the day. Dude, this movement's uh, insane. Oh well. And repent the game or beat it normally. We beat it, we beat it normally. We're gonna get a uh, true ending later today. We'll stream we'll stream like Hollow Knight for like an hour or two. And then uh then I'll have to end. Cause I've been live for like what? Like five hours. Ding dong. Hey, what's up, Sam? Gamerist? Yeah. Gamerist. It's actually like it's actually legitimately awful. I need to see. Uh, I have a I have an appointment with a doctor. If it comes down to it, uh, <laughs> honestly, I, I, we might have to, uh, like have to take like a, a good like month break from like video games. So we'll yeah, figure out some content for that instead. On Oh, let's see how they do this. This is this is any player, not your ender. Say that, dude. <laughs> Imagine though, it's like why why is Pointcore not playing Breath of the Wild anymore? He literally broke his wrist. <laughs> like, what a good excuse. Is this is Matt's run. No, it's not. This is Fireborn. Is Matt on the leaderboard? I know he did Hollow Knight runs, but. Hey, what's up, Scurry? Hollow Knight speedrun soon? I was thinking of doing Hollow Knight speedruns. Like, I think I want to do a major glitches run. Like, all glitches run. Uh, for YouTube. And then grind out no major glitches while I figure out how to make it a video. We were just talking about YouTube. Maybe do, like, a challenge or two, too. Or, like, a mod. Depending on how it, like, does. Figure it out. This is crazy. This is crazy. Like, actually insane movement. And recognizes the parry, too. Wow. Like, I feel like... Like, Fireborn doing this, it's not as impressive to him. Because, like, he's done it, like, a million times, right? Like, here. It's, like, the same thing as, like, me doing the, the Blights in, in Breath of the Wild, right? Where it's just, like, yeah, it's, like, just, like, a segment where you just, like, do the same thing over and over, again, over again. But to a casual viewer like me right now, this is nuts. Actually fucking insane. The, the music kills me every time. Uh, I'm assuming that's the slow cycle. You don't want him to do that. Because you can't hit him in the air. You just like hope he doesn't do it. So there is some RNG involved here. And that's... You probably want him to do that instead of the, the bouncing. Ah, that's so sick. Nice. Good fight. That's so sick. I started soul so late there. I want to play this, but games with no health bars are stressful. This has a health hey, bar. Also, this is the end of the game, yeah. Sam. You just spoil it for yourself. <laughs> you just. You, hey, what the fuck? I want to play this game, but I'm watching literally a speed run away. <laughs> nice. 10 second PB. 3307. Damn. Well, I'm assuming the plus minus is. um like right here is um for real time not not loads uh because it doesn't make sense that he finished 31 seconds ahead or maybe plus minus is it wrong yeah well i know world records like 30 30 seconds faster which is nuts apparently it's like super optimized oh it's against the sum of best why would you do that <laughs> why would you ever compare to your sum of best oh my god then you're always losing. <laughs> then you're literally always losing. That's crazy. I I couldn't do that. Um, I turned like like I had to turn my um, uh, I had to make my uh slow splits like my my plus splits green. So like the red splits, I made them green, so it looks like I'm still ahead. <laughs> so I wouldn't see a whole bunch of red and cry. Somehow every streamer that I've watched play this game happens to be on that boss fight, so it's the only fight I've seen. Okay, so you've only been spoiled for, like, the final boss. <laughs> That's funny. There's some good category extensions that are hard to learn. All right, let's check these out. Um, okay, so for category extensions here, uh, let me put on some music in the background. Um, um Ooh, that's loud. 
<laughs> Just some peepo sacks right out of there. Oh my god. There we go. Okay. Why won't I have a message post? It's probably something along the lines of do you ever get collector's anxiety, which is banned in this channel right now. <laughs> um okay, so out of these, there's elder bug percent. What is elder bug percent? Oh, it's really nice. You have auto split for this. That's cool. So you get the elder bug flower quest. Okay. Four mash shards. Alub Aluba? The fuck is Aluba? What is Aluba? What is this thing? Did I just like miss this in my casual? It's a booba. Okay, thank you. <laughs> the floaty vibey boy. It's a dragonfly thing. Oh, okay. Zero geo. Oh, beat the game without obtaining any money. <laughs> That's funny. Is there a 69% run? There's 105. But is there any combination of things that can get you to 69%? I'm just asking. I'm just curious. <laughs> is there? Yeah, it doesn't have a board yet, though. All right, I was, I was wondering. <laughs> Mr. Mushroom ending. This is like a fourth, fifth, sixth ending. Passing of the age. Okay. Um, all stag stations, all charm notches, happy couple. New king. What is this? What's NK? What's NKG? What is all stag stations? Oh, Nightmare King Grim. Oh, that's the that's the hard DLC boss that you guys told me about. You just kill him. Okay. Spellless, 105 happy couple. Eh. These seem interesting. Um, but what I'm thinking right now. Oh, I still need to submit my hundo, by the way. Yeah, what I'm thinking here is we'll do all glitches. Just like get get a time on the leaderboard, um, and like see how it works proper, and then make a video on this, uh, with the title I told earlier. <laughs> I have a good thumbnail for it too, uh, because that seems interesting. And if it goes over well, um, if it goes over well, we might do some more Hollow Knight content. Like we 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 might do like. Uh, we might do, like, no major glitches. Like, grind that out just for fun. Um, after we do, like, any percent Breath of the Wild. Like, beat Lingus and that. Um, and then... And then low percent? Yeah, here, here's Scurry. There they are. Low percent. So what does low percent do? Beat the game with 11% completion. So low percent is with its Okay, so low percent without main, main menu storage. Okay, so you actually do main menu storage in this. Interesting. Arch K, thanks for these four months. Thank you so much. Low percent god home ending is insane. Is there I don't think there's a category for that. But what was it? It was wasn't it like low percent true ending that scurry did didn't they do that let's let's do this uh scurry yeah this is this is the one yeah it's this thing 45 hour long hollow knight speed run Yeah, highlights for my low percent true ending. Nobody else has run it and I did it segmented. 
Yeah, I would say I, I like I after forty five like <laughs> like I, I wouldn't like I wouldn't do this all in one sitting either. <laughs> like it's forty five hours. Uh this seems cool though. <laughs> this dude does a forty five hour long speed run. Also, this guy uses Chinese dialogue because it saves a few seconds. <laughs> That's funny. Low percent true ending, not low percent God home. Is there a difference? Oh, well, that's, uh, that's stupid. That's a stupid question. That's such a stupid question. <laughs> Their name diff oh, is there a difference between the two different things that you just mentioned? <laughs> there, okay, there's a significantly difference. One's the true ending, one's the true, true ending. Right. Yeah, I understand that. Um, <laughs> uh, guys, but I, I've, here's my actual question for you. Why is the game in French? <laughs> Um, okay, so 45 hours segment. Uh, that seems do. I might do this. This sounds like a lot of fun. I mean, obviously, like, I I'd, like, credit Scurry and everything and, and be like, hey, he's, like, got this from you. That sounds fun. Yeah, and then this was, like, this is the guy who ran at GDQ. For a long, uh, there's been a big time save, too. If I in, if it's a forty five hour speed like hour speed run like I feel like any time save really technically doesn't matter <laughs> especially with how like I'm assuming it's like just grind 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 what is what is the the save <laughs> I am curious you get lower percent in God Home than on standard I have no idea I I, I have no idea maybe chat can answer that oh uh, yeah. So any percent all glitches. What are the rules in this? Two seconds saved and 45 hours speed run. You can fight an extra boss for 300 essence instead of grinding for the random drop. Oh, that is that the 45? Wait, 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 wait. Is that the 45 hour stuff? Because I know you need to get 1800 essence to get the, the dream nail whatever thing, right? So you can go to like... Um, um, what you will call it, right? Um, so you, so you can get the um, the void heart or whatever, or like the king thing, um, that we just learned about. <laughs> so you need eighteen hundred essence. Oh, and then percentage that counts like each boss you beat is a percentage, right? For essence. So then the random like one in two hundred chance, or is it one in one hundred? I don't, I don't know which one. You have to just like beat a whole bunch of random enemies for like a bunch of hours. So literally, it's not actually like a 45 hour speed run. It's like a long hour speed run, but your particular RNG took you 45 hours. <laughs> that's, that's so stupid. Oh my God, I love that. Oh my God. Wait, so we can literally, so someone can literally do it. I rigged it with a mod and it took two hours. Okay, okay. Uh. Like, I, I'm assuming in the future, after that run. Um, <laughs> so, so essentially what you could do is you can literally just do the same run and beat your time by, like, probably, like, five hours just by doing the exact same thing, just getting moderately luckier. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Scurry just ran it. Um, not with a mod. No, 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 no. Well, okay. <laughs> it's all luck, you know? There was no, there was no luck involved. It was all skill with Scurry. Scurry just did, forgot to, um, uh, <laughs> delete their, their, uh, mod folder. <laughs> that, that's what it was. That's what, oh my bad. <laughs> so it's like, okay. That's funny. But yeah, eliminating RNG doing it in, uh, you right. <laughs> so eliminating RNG two hours. That's crazy. That's crazy. All right, you guys want to? Um, we're not. We're, let's let's do the the casual, true ending today, or at least get get a little bit farther in casual true ending, um, for like a good like hour or two or something. We'll figure it out. Um, on the switch, <laughs> uh, and then uh, and then I'll end stream. Uh, but then we'll learn um, 
Let's see, uh, tomorrow's Thursday. I, I did want to. I did want to do Pokemon sometime this week. Um, hear me out. Actually, chat. You guys might like this. I was thinking what I could do is uh, I might just stream seven days a week. Um, but like on Friday, Saturdays, I just have like really short streams, like well, an hour or two. You know, you can't do all the glitches on Twitch. Oh yeah, no, no, no. I, I, I'm just used to the Switch for this. So I want to do like switch like casually and then we'll switch to PC with controller. So. Did you finish all the Pokemon stat? Yeah, we did. It's on, it's on uh, the VOD channel. Uh, Pokemon is a good way to reset the wrist. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too, right? But, like if I can't do like gaming, you know, I can still game with, uh, with Pokemon. Just change your language to French. It is. <laughs> it's in French. All right, we'll switch to Hollow Knight category real quick. Uh, first time true ending Hollow Knight. Follow. Please save my soul. Thank you. And then uh, Hollow Knight category. I feel like my tag, I feel like my titles have become more and more of a fever dream. That could just be me, but. <laughs> You know, just just like a small thing. Uh, let me um really quick. First off, I'm breaking out. It is lovely. Oh, look at that acne. <laughs> Who is he? Middle school. Um, let me change it to uh, back to English. Maybe I should hit up uh Lauren for that skincare routine. Ludwig skin. <laughs> Sniper, get down. Let's connect the dots, yeah. <laughs> Who needs the, uh, you see, it's like, <laughs> dude, I aspire to, to be like that, that uncle or whatever that has like that kid like in a, in a restaurant that like is unknowingly insulting everybody. So they'll be like, you know, if, if, if you want to like casually, um, <laughs> like, uh, like, like for example, uh, like I, I'm like, uh, you know, it's saying like, Hey, you know, my acne, ah, oh God, it's the worst thing. Ah, oh God, you know, all that fun stuff. But then like, <laughs> I want, um, I want like a, a child to be like, yeah, who needs, uh, who needs my play mats anymore when I can just play connect the dots with your face. The switch is down a new patch. Uh, I think this is the new patch. Oh, audio is loud. It should be here. How's this for audio? Good. Sick. Okay, good. I'm also like, I've, I'll be honest. I'm digging the dude. I've been loving streams recently. I'll be honest. Uh, I fucking love streams. Um, I just, I feel like I can literally stream for hours and hours and hours. Um, I don't know what it is. Maybe it was the hundo that, that like made me think about that. But it was also like, I don't have a green screen. I think it's it, like really nice. So. Okay, so a um, couple things that we got to realize here. So one of them is um, the hive. So we know the hive exists, and there's like a little thing, like a hidden hidden wall somewhere um but i'm more curious about the essence because i want to go to the palace first so where is a good place to get essence um that i don't have currently and you can spoil this for me i'm a, like i'm asking you chat to spoil where to go for this so you can answer the birds <laughs> boss fight soul tyrant dream warriors the birds Dream boss. Okay. Where is a dream boss here? I've already done the last kin. I've already done like a couple of them too. Oh, you can revisit. So if I just like revisit dung defender. Soul master false knight last kin. I already did last kin. Um, so Okay, where was Dung Defender again? Oh, he was um 
Oh, and he's like right next to a bench too. Oh, it was a little hard to get to. Um, but if we go to King Station, I think the fastest way is King Station here. Yeah. First boss you fought? There's one in Dirtmouth. Really? We battled the. Oh, you mean in in, in Crossroads? Oh, by the tram. Okay, so we'll go there first. We'll go there second. <laughs> Love that. Ghost in Queen's Gardens. I did get. I did get that one. Uh, the Marmu or whatever. It's Minecraft. Dream plays Minecraft, so a dream boss must be in Minecraft. Oh, so it also forgets about its month folder. <laughs> So then, so then it's actually just an unfair boss. I'm, I'm saying this now because like, I, I think it's funny. Like I, I actually don't care much anymore. I think it's important to talk about. Uh, we've already had that serious conversation a while ago, you know? <laughs> like we've had the serious conversation a while ago of like, um, of uh, you know, why it's important to note that dream, diff like, Dream cheated and, and why that's important to the speedrunning community and why it's actually like you should care about it. But now I just meme on it because I think it's a funny joke. Same thing where I'm like, hey, I imagine you guys play instruments, you know? What nerds? Enter Breda's house? Really? Oh, but we do have to do something first. I forgot. Yeah. Uh, we do have to. I forgot something. L band geek and all right. I think it's like oh, oh, I can't send. I don't know. Why I keep jumping down here. I fuck, dude. I can't jump over it. What am I doing? I said Brett's house. Oh, right here? Descend. Oh, whoa. Oh, there is a boss here. What is this? Is that... Wait, is this... What the fuck is this dream? Is this Zoe? <laughs> Dude, I'm dead. Dude, I'm fucking dead. Oh, yikes. He throws himself out? What? What is this? Okay, so they're flying versions. Okay, so that makes it like a little bit weirder to deal with. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. All right, I need healing. No, I'm not gonna survive that. Terrifying, beautiful, powerful. All right, uh, mods, do you want to do a prediction for these? You can you can get your gambling fix uh, chat now. I know you guys wanted it. You can, you can get your gambling fix. You can peepo gamble all day. It's on the switch. It is on the switch, yeah. I love I love this with Bretta. I think it's so funny. Oh, I have the double jump still. I I, I don't know why I'm like. <laughs> what is that attack? Wait, can I just do this? I think I can just pogo him. Oh, he does jump though. To prevent pogoing. I see it. Okay. Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> Did 
You gain nothing? Uh, I just want essence for the fight. Ah, uh, yeah, because he does it twice. Let's, like, not die or take damage. Oh, it might be, like, you know, if we use spells here, that might be better. Because of distance. Because he's, like, up close. Yeah, because, like, all of, the, all of his attacks are, like, up close. So if we, like, just spell, we should be good to go. So focus on the adds here. And long distance. Yeah. We'll do this. We'll do this. What's your charm build? It's the best charms. We have the compass on, which is the best charm. Bro, I have to watch over well well over 333 hours to get 2 million points. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hard for me to just end stream on a whim. <laughs> if I just, like, give you the... <laughs> yeah, it's kind of meant to be like that. <laughs> If I set end stream to 10 points, I would never be streaming. <laughs> and that would be uh, chat's fault. So two hits for these guys, two hits for the ads. He's fast. Oh, I can also like um, uh, go through him. Yeah. Right, because we just got that too, last stream. Yikes. Oh my God. Oh, let's go! Fuck! <laughs> oh my god. Any nail upgrades? I think I have two nail upgrades. Dude, this is insane. Stop! I'm probably just being greedy here, I'll be honest. You have three nail upgrades? Uh, do I? Let's check. Uh, is this three? I have a coiled nail. Whatever that means. That's three? Okay. So is that like max? Oh, it's three or four. Okay. So we should be, we should be pretty close. I thought I went through. It's not. Wait, how do I? He's just really fast. All right, I need to like, I need to like focus on actual strategy here. Actual strategy. Any uh, any note takers for me for an actual strategy? <laughs> I have to be going insane. 
keep trying this. No, no, we're not changing charms, guys. Because we all know the compass charm is the best one. All right, let's actually focus here. Oh, yikes. I thought I... Okay, it's fine. And I ran into that. That was a good descending dark. What? Oh, I thought I, I, I thought I did a dark there. That was so good, though, too. Dude, that was actually so good. One for five hours? Yeah, not, th not that long today. Uh, just mainly because of my uh, my wrist. So yeah, I think I think we'll play some Pokemon tomorrow, maybe. Rather than learn the uh, learn the speed run for like obvious reasons. Dude, what was I doing there? Dude, what am I doing? Oh, actually, I know what I, I, I know. What I want to do tomorrow. First stream. Yikes. Uh, that was intended. That was uh, an intended strat. <laughs> I meant to do that. Dude, the Breta is so fucking funny. Dude, this game is too good. Yeah, I clearly did that on purpose to learn the attacks. Ah, uh, go into him, go into him. Jump into him. Uh, and also Pogo. I'm on him. Stay, stay away, stay away. Oh no, the ads got me! Are you serious? Dude, the ads got me. That's crazy. That's actually insane. Is it close? Literally one hit every time. <laughs> Literally one hit. Larry Scale, thanks for the Prime Gaming. Thank you so much. You're suffering so much, so I gave you a prime. Like, you know what? I'll, I'll take it. It's a pity prime, but you know what? It's a prime nonetheless. And you know how I feel about primes, you know?
I thought I dodged that. Dude, that was actually close. Dude, that was actually close. Was it though? It was, it was literally, he was one hit. He was one hit. <laughs> if uh, my times in Valorant have taught me anything, he was literally one hit right there. <laughs> Existence is pain. <laughs> Whoa, okay. How did I not take damage? Dude, I have no idea how I didn't take damage there, and I'm not gonna question it. I'll be, I took damage, okay. These, these mini zotes are actually really funny. I feel like we're actually getting really close. Any believers in chat? That's my next question. McKK Boo Boo, thanks for the 10 months. Thank you so much. Any believers? Any, I just, one single believer. I think it's the lack of believers that is getting me down here. This is the time to believe. This is the one. Right here. This is not the one to believe, guys. This is not the one. I lied. I lied. I lied! I'm a liar on the internet! <laughs> D Dark, when you can't. When you're panicking. Fuck! Chad, I, I, I rigged it. I rigged it. I rigged it. It was all a, it was all a ruse. Right. I said when I said uh, go all in, you know, and like when I said any believers, I meant this next time. It wasn't for this one. Okay, it was for the next time, obviously. Like, why would you even think that I would mean it this time? Like my last points on this one. All right, this is one. For, th this one's for you, scary. This is the one. This is one for you. <laughs> Thanks for the prime gaming. Oh, I think I knew when to D-Dark. Oh my God, I'm doing it at the wrong time. So not there. That was, that was the worst time, but right here. Yeah, when he, when he jumps down like that. I died to the ads!
That was for you, Scurry. <laughs> that one was for you. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Paying attention to the wrong thing. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm just, I think I'm paying attention to the mirror over here. That's just presenting my just thick ass. <laughs> Fuck, man. It's just too distracted. Let me actually like. Ah, oh, yikes. That was not gonna work out, otherwise I, I, I tried it. Getting good though, yeah. Actually, hardest boss in the game. That's crazy, dude. Why would they put the hardest boss in the game right here? <laughs> Boggles my mind. <laughs> Keep going all in on no when I do a flip and go on <laughs> all in yes. So far, you just have no points, is what I'm getting at. All right, we got a couple more tries here, and then, then uh, no, 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 no. Dream nail when he staggers. Yeah, I realize that, but he's not staggering because I'm never getting that far in the. I'm not getting that far in the. <laughs> in the uh, in the fight, so <laughs> that's that's the, that's the issue. <laughs> it's like I know I should dream nail there, but I don't get that far yet. So. Wow, I really need to get better at this game. Oh, he didn't, he didn't size back here. Jealous fool, you stand no chance. Who's jealous here? Yeah, so that's why I do it there. That's when I do dark. I, know, I just know that adds is going to kill me. Oh. Oh. Page. Page and only page. All right, focus. How did that hit me? How did that hit me? How did that, dude? How did I, how did I get? I, I, I'm actually at a loss. I need pogo. When he's doing this, I can pogo on him. Oh God! Oh, right for the soul, literally. Act, but like actually, literally. 
<laughs> Change charms. Chat, we are not changing charms. We all know the compass is literally the best charm in the game. You ever hear about the compass strats? Come on. Yeah, that's... I can't dodge through that, then. Yeah, maybe maybe the uh, spam D Dark strat is not actually like a really good strat. Hear me out. Maybe we don't do that. <laughs> we'll get it next time though. So I can't, I can't, I can't dash through him is, is what I've gotten from this, this fight. Is I can't dash through him. That sucks. All right, we're going to get it this time though. Now it's Cutie's birthday. Is it Cutie's birthday? I feel like a bad friend if I, if, if it, it literally is. Okay. <laughs> I think I know who we're rating <laughs> uh, after the stream. <laughs> All right, this is the one, guys. Bet everything on believe. <laughs> it's going well so far. I'm so... How? Well, I know how. I just, I, I just like, in denial. I'm just actually in denial. We're gonna do all the the, the trending tonight. Spends all night finding, fighting Zote. Yeah, cause um, this is the true ending. <laughs> Zote's the final boss. We all know this. I right, believers, believers. This is the one. Be patient. Be patient. I need to be patient. So much more patient than that. <laughs> yeah, that's how I want to play that. That's how I've been wanting to play it. So Pogo Optim. This is 
like a much better strat. Dark when he's doing that too. Of course. <laughs> Dodge his attacks and hit him. That's the best strat. Maybe I'll try that. You know what? I'll try that. This, this right here. This we're gonna try it. That's the strat. Sorry about earlier when I said bit of a flex. I didn't mean it for to be rude. Who are you? <laughs> what? <laughs> Who? Uh, you're forgiven, I think. I don't remember you ever say that, but cool. I don't remember anyone saying that in chat, but... You get the glowing seal of approval of Megaloy. Uh, I only responded because you kept spamming that chat, too. Uh, I need to be later on my DD. This is a bad fight. This is a bad fight. We're gonna die. How do we? How do? How? That's fine. We'll just. I'll just do this on one uh, one heart. one heart dude we weren't doing it oh my god will this be a youtube video yes say hi youtube hi youtube i was here Dude, I, I just immediately oh so it's not a determined amount of time okay oh, i couldn't jump again I feel like I was closer there, too. We're getting closer. Every step you take, every move you make, I'll be watching you. I'm so dumb. What am I doing? What am I? I'm literally throwing this one. Chat, if you voted believe on this one, I'm so sorry. This is by far the worst beginning to a zone fight, or just any fight I think I've had. Yep, there it is. Nice. Let's go, dude. Let's go.
I want a refund. That was BS. What do you mean? That was so good. That was that was literally that was literally the best. Best one. Hey, to everyone asking me to change my charms, I'm not going to change my charms. We're going to keep compass because it's the best charm. Or upgrade my nail or anything. We're going to do it like this because I want to. I also have a spite now. Because I already, because this is like the fifth time I've said it. This is actually also bullshit. I was distracted by yelling at chat. There we go. <laughs> If he could beat Flukmarm, then he can beat So. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Stop being great. Stop, stop, stop. What are you doing? Punker, what are you doing? The farthest you've gotten every single time is when you're not being greedy. I went in with the wrong way. I think I'm just tired. You know what? You know what's great about having like a broken wrist? I can literally blame everything on it. That was my wrist, guys. That was my wrist. I would have gotten it, but my wrist started hurting like halfway through. So like, um, yeah. So you can't blame me either for like throwing the fight. I didn't throw the fight. Because, but my, because my wrist hurt. And, like, you'd be making fun of, like, a cripple. So, what can I say? Molimar! <laughs> All right. Like the moment, the moment the little z the zote flies hit me, was the worst. Oh my god, that was actually that was probably the worst thing that could have happened. Actually, snipe. It was that wrist, man. I would have gotten it. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh! 
Oh my god! And we got we got the uh we got the guest. Hell yeah, dude! Hell yeah! That was insane! Oh my god. Actually insane. Again? Wait, I can do it again and get more essence? Uh, you don't have to, mods, you don't have to, you, you don't have to do a prediction on this one. No more essence. Okay, I just want to see this one. Because apparently it's a change. No essence, but we'll see it. We'll, we'll do this once. Oh, it's, um, okay. Oh, it doesn't look like a change. Oh, he's, oh, he, they added a couple extra adjectives <laughs> to his name. He's faster. He's faster. Oh, I, I didn't do dark there. I, I don't think I have enough soul. Oh, what the fuck is that thing? Oh, that was bad. This is a bad fight. Yeah, new new enemy. Weird. I don't know if I can do a second boss fight. At least